Hare Krishna, welcome to this episode of Bhagavad Gita. Today's verse is chapter 7, text 19 of Bhagavad Gita. Uh, the definition of a Mahatma. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Ajnanati Mirandhasya Jnananjana Shalakaya Chakshurun Militam Yena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Shri Chaitanya Mano Bhishtam Sthapitam Yena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Kadama Himdadati Svapadandikam Vandeham Shri Guru Shri Yutapada Kamalam Shri Gurun Vaishnavamscha Shri Rupam Sagrajatam Sahagana Raghunathan Vitam Tam Sajivam Sadvaitam Savadhutam <coughs> Parijana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Padan Sahagana Lalita Shri Vishakhan Vitamscha He Krishna Karuna Sindho Dina Bandho Chagatpate Gopesha Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namostute Tapta Kanchana Gaurangi Radhe Vrindavaneshwari Vrishabhanu Sute Devi Pranamami Haripriye Vancha Kalpata Rubhyascha Kripa Sindhubhya Evacha Patitanam Pavanebhyo Vaishnavibhyo Namo Namaha Namo Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prashtaya Bhutale Shri Mate Bhakti Vedanta Swaminiti Namine Namaste Saraswate Deve Gauravani Pracharine Nirvishesha Sunyavadi Paschatya Deshatarine Jaya Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhara Shri Vasadi Gaurabhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare So today's verse is chapter 7 text 19 I'm sorry for the delay in uh, starting the whole program <coughs> Maybe you can uh, request you all to maybe notify the others that the class has started and those who want to join can join Right, so 7.19 Bahu nam janma namante jnanavan maam prapadyate vasudeva sarvamiti samahatma sudullabha Bahu nam, many, janma nam, repeated births and deaths, ante, after, jnanavan, one who is in full knowledge, maam, unto me, prapadyate, surrenders, Vasudevaha, the personality of Godhead Krishna. Sarvam, everything. Iti, does, sah, that. Maha Atma, the great soul. Sudurlabhaha, very rare to see. Translation and purport by Zavangra S.A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami, Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai. After many births, so translation, after many births and deaths, he who is actually in knowledge surrenders unto me, knowing me to be the cause of all causes and all that is. Such a great soul is very rare. I'm sorry about that. Purport. The living entity, while executing devotional service or transcendental rituals after many, many births, may actually become situated in transcendental pure knowledge that the Supreme Personality of Godhead is the ultimate goal of spiritual realization. In the beginning of spiritual realization, while one is trying to give up one's attachment to materialism, there is some leaning towards impersonalism. But when one is further advanced, he can understand that there are activities in, sp- in the spiritual life and that these activities constitute devotional service. Realizing this, he becomes attached to the Supreme Personality of Godhead and surrenders to Him. At such a time, one can understand that Lord Sri Krishna's mercy is everything, that He is the cause of all causes and all that is. Sorry, and all that, 
and that this material manifestation is not independent from him he realizes the material world to be a perverted reflection of spiritual variegatedness and realizes that in everything there is a relationship with the supreme lord krishna thus he thinks of everything in relation to vasudev or shri krishna such a universal vision of vasudev precipitates one's full surrender to the supreme lord shri krishna as the highest goal such surrendered great souls are very rare this verse is very nicely explained in the third chapter verses 14 and 15 of the shvetashvatar upanishad sahasra shirsha purusha sahasraksha sahasrapat sabhumim vishvato vritva atyatishthad dashangulam purusha evedam sarvam yadbhutam yacha bhavyam utamritatvasheshanah yadanne natirohati so there is actually from the purusha sukta Hmm. This man actually is a Purusha Sukta is from the Shvetashvata Upanishad. Looks like. So the meaning: Lord Vishnu has thousands of heads, thousands of eyes, and thousands of feet. Entirely encompassing the whole universe, he still extends beyond it by ten fingers' breadth. Atyatishthad dashangulam. Entirely encompassing the whole universe, he still extends beyond it by ten fingers' breadth. now whose fingers krishna's fingers um and krishna's fingers are unlimited he is in fact this entire universe he is all that was and all that will be he is the lord of immortality and of all that is nourished by food that means all living entities in the chandogya upanishad 5.1.15 it is said नवैवाचो न चक्षुंशि न श्रोत्राणि न मनांसीत्यचक्षते प्राण इति एवा चक्षते प्राणो ह्येवैतानि सर्वाणि भवन्ति इन द बॉडी ऑफ अ लिविंग बीइंग नाइदर द पावर टू स्पीक नॉर द पावर टू सी नॉर द पावर टू हियर नॉर द पावर टू थिंक इज द प्राइम फैक्टर इट इज द लाइफ एयर व्हिच इज द सेंटर ऑफ ऑल एक्टिविटीज सिमिलरली लॉर्ड वासुदेव वाज द पर्सनालिटी ऑफ गॉड हेड Lord Sri Krishna is the prime entity in everything. And because Vasudev is all pervading and everything is Vasudev, the devotee surrenders in full knowledge. CF what is CF Bhagavad Gita 717 and 1140. What is that? 717 let's go to 717. तेषा ज्ञानी निुक्ता एक भक्तिर्विशिष्य प्रिय हि ज्ञानोत्यम अहम सच मम प्रिय ऑफ दी इज वन हू इज इन फुल नॉलेज एंड हू इज ऑलवेज एंगेज इन प्योर डिवोशनल सर्व इज द बेस्ट फॉर आई एम वेरी डियर टू हिम एंड ही इज डियर टू मी एंड लेवन फोर्टीन नम पुरस्थ पृष्ठतस्ते नमोस्तु ते सर्वत एव सर्व अनंतवीर्यामित विक्रमस्तम सर्वं समाप्नोषि ततोषि सर्वः ओबेसेंसेस टू यू फ्रॉम द फ्रंट फ्रॉम द बिहाइंड एंड फ्रॉम ऑल साइड्स ओ अनबाउंडेड पावर यू आर द मास्टर ऑफ लिमिटलेस माइट यू आर ऑल परवेडिंग एंड दस यू आर एवरीथिंग सो दिस इज वासुदेव सर्वमिति सो दिस इज कंफर्मड हियर बाय अर्जुन वासुदेव सर्वमिति स महात्मा सुदुर्लभ सो सेवेन्टीन लेस गोट दुक्ता एक प्रियो हि ज्ञानोत्थ अहम सच मम प्रिय ओके सो बैक् टू दिस वर्स So this is one of the most important verses of Bhagavad Gita. Shri Prabhupada quoted many verses from Bhagavad Gita and this was one of the most popular ones. Hmm. So 
Mahatma means great soul. So we have touched upon this topic many many times about who is a Mahatma. So Mahatma is he who surrenders Gyanavan Maam Prapadyate. First of all, he has to be a Gyanavan. He has to have transcendental knowledge. So how will one get transcendental knowledge? By the mercy of the bona fide spiritual master, Guru. 4.34 of Bhagavad Gita. What is that? Tadvidhi pranipatena pariprasnena sevaya upadekshanti te jnanam jnani nastatva darshinaha So with, um, by the mercy of the spiritual master, one gets the transcendental knowledge. And one must be serious if he wants to uh, become actually a jnanavan. Just because the spiritual master has given that Divya Gyan does not mean that the disciple will become Gyanavan. He has to learn it from the spiritual master with all due respect and all due discipline. So this is actually explained in the Bhagavad Gita. Four thirty four. So this, just try to learn the truth by approaching a spiritual master. Inquire from him submissively and render service unto him. The self-realized soul can impart knowledge unto you because he has seen the truth. Now, so he will give you the knowledge, he will give the disciple the knowledge. Provided the disciple has three qualifications, pranipatena. He has to be submissive, he has to become, he has to surrender to the guru. (coughs) Pariprashnena. Inquire confidentially and submissively with a mood to learn, not with a mood to challenge. And then finally, he has to render service to the Guru. Hmm. Like a menial servant. Acharan Dasavan Nicha. Brahmachari Guru Kule Vasandanto Guru Hitam Acharan Dasavan Nicho Gurau Sudridha Sauhritaha. So he has to have a firm f- friendship for the spiritual master. Hmm. And friendship means not like equals. No. He has to accept the Supreme, I mean the spiritual master as the most well-wishing friend. Uh, because he has all good intentions for the disciple. He wants him to go back to Godhead. And um, with that attitude, he, he must serve like a menial servant. He must serve the spiritual master. So we have information from Rajakishwar Prabhu. CF apparently is an abbreviation for compare or confer in Latin. So this verse is comparable to 717 and 1140. So, so the knowledge is given to such a uh, disciple. Now, after receiving the knowledge, it's not that the disciple is finished, done with the whole, okay, you can say bye bye. Thank you for the knowledge. I have everything now. I don't need you anymore. I'll go my way. You go your way. That's not how a guru, the modern education system, that is what is being taught. After the school graduation or university graduation, they say bye bye to the teacher and finish. Anyway, that's all material knowledge, first of all. So, spiritual knowledge is long, not like that. Janme Janme Prabhu Shai Chakshudan So, though the person was given transcendent lies um, for us to see. He is our master, life after life, eternally grateful. We cannot repay a spiritual master. That is explained. Mm, Now the computer is lagging. Okay. Srimad Bhagavatam 4.22.47 Yairi drishi bhagavato gati ratma vada ekanta to nigami bhi pratipaditana tushantvada bhrakaruna svakrte na nityam ko namatat pratikaro tivino the patram. Prithu Maharaj continued How can such persons who have rendered unlimited service by explaining the path of self realization in relation to the Supreme Personality of Godhead? and whose explanations are given for our enlightenment with complete conviction and Vedic evidence be repaid, except by folded palms 
containing water for their satisfaction. Such great personalities can be satisfied only by their own activities, which are distributed amongst human society out of their unlimited mercy. And a different meaning of Udapatram means a joker. Uh, we know the patram, sorry. We know the patram means joker, and that would mean that anyone who tries to um, repay the spiritual master is actually a joker because it cannot be done. He'll make a fool out of himself only. You see? The word Vinoda Patram can be divided into two words, Vina and Udapatram, or can be understood as one word, Vinoda Patram, which means joker. Vina Udapatram means, except for offering some uh, water, little bit water, you cannot satisfy such persons. You cannot give an, in, other, in other words, you cannot give them a gift that can truly hold the value of what they have given us, of such a, I mean, a devotee or, or guru. The transcendental knowledge that we can we receive from the Guru, it cannot be repaid by a sufficient gift in this material world. The only way is to just, out of devotion, you know, offer some water to such a person. That's all. In other words, there is no such gift equal hmm, to the gift of the spiritual master. So that is one vina udapatram. But we know the patram, which means joker. A joker's activity is simply arouse laughter. And a person who tries to repay the spiritual master or teacher of the transcendental message of Krishna becomes a laughing stock just like a joker because it is not possible to repay such a debt. The best friend and benefactor of all people is one who awakens humanity to its original Krishna consciousness. So, with this understanding, one must have a very, very um, surrendered attitude towards the spiritual master. Chakshudan Diloje Janme Janme Prabhushe. Uh, so he is our uh, most uh, beloved spiritual master and with such understanding one must become very um, surrendered and serve the spiritual master like a menial servant now if that attitude is adopted then you see what happens next verse yajnatvana punar moham evam yasya sipandava Yena Bhutanya Sheshani This is the effect of transcendental knowledge. Having obtained real knowledge from a self will as soul, you will never fall again into such illusion, for by this knowledge you will see that all living beings are but part of the Supreme, or in other words, that they are mine. This will be the effect of them um, tran- receiving transcendental knowledge. But, and the few next few verses are about the glories of the transcendental knowledge. Now, in 439, if we go and see, there is further instruction on how we have to receive the knowledge from the spiritual master and how we, do, we should execute on that knowledge. You see this, 439. Shraddha vallabhate jnanam tatparaha samyatendriyaha jnanam ladhva param shantim achirena dhigachati Especially the first two lines. Shraddhavan Labhate Jnanam Tatparaha Samyatendriyaha So, Shraddhavan, a faithful man, achieves knowledge. So, so, after receiving the spiritual master's I mean, knowledge from the Guru, he should not doubt it. First of all, the Guru must be beyond doubt. If the Guru's character is doubtful, then everything coming out from his mouth is doubtful. So, First of all, the Guru has to be of, of, a, of the Uttam Adhikari level, without any shady character, completely free from all um, materialistic base qualities. He, he should be a pure devotee. Then one can trust such a person and whatever that is spoken by the spiritual master is as good as God speaking, Krishna speaking. So that is how one should take the word of the spiritual master. So if one has that Deve para bhaktir yatha deve tatha gurav tasye te kathitha yartha prakashante mahatmanaha mahatmanaha. So the, the disciple should have as much faith in the guru as he has in Krishna. 
if he doesn't have any faith in both of them that's not good so he should take guru's words as good as god's words that is the meaning so if one takes it like that shraddhavan ahi labhate gyanam otherwise you see prabhupada is a pure devotee but why his disciples are of many many varieties some are very uh, diligent and following some are not some are you know uh, blooped and went away from the movement why the guru is the same same quality why the effect is different on different disciples because how much shraddha one has how much surrender one has um, so that also matters so shraddha van labhate gyanam so gurus uh, duty guru has done but disciples duty we have to do and then we can receive that knowledge and tatpara very much attached to it that means a disciple should be very much attached to the knowledge they receive from the spiritual master that means he should always be reading every day and he should always contemplate on the subject matter and he should memorize verses and he should uh, conduct himself on those instructions according to those instructions everything he has to quote from the scripture he should be only so much attached means just like if a husband is attached to the wife is very attached to the wife now whenever the wife says okay please buy this uh, he will buy don't buy this okay he will not buy so very attached so he will follow her orders so he will always check with her sometimes we we'll go out distributing books sir please take a bhagavad gita uh, let me check with my wife yeah he will say so he needs approval from her so that it is a very condemned position but that is a example there is an example where condemned position in the sense bhagavad gita krishna is giving you you need to check with your wife whether this krishna is correct or not who is your wife huh big acharya or what nonsense he, he should be the guru, the guru for the wife he should be teaching the wife or checking with the wife as if she knows what is right and wrong and devotees do not know it's actually an insult but what to do people are like that but the point here is because he is very attached to the wife he wants to get her uh, approval so similarly tatpara very much attached to it that means whatever he is doing whatever he is saying he wants to see whether krishna said this or not krishna authorized this because i don't want to do anything that krishna did not authorize i do not want to do anything that the guru did not authorize so that is the meaning of tatpara uh, very much attached to it and samyata indriya control senses so he must execute on the four regulative principles and in many other ways to control the senses hmm. he has to have discipline he has to control the senses and serve the spiritual master with full faith and being very much attached to the knowledge that is received from the spiritual master having faith in that knowledge unflinching faith then labhate gyanam so when one has this gyanam and that is the principal sign of a mahatma gyanavan mam prapadyate that the symptom of such knowledge is mam prapadyate he will surrender to krishna if the guru is giving knowledge and the spiritual i mean the disciple is not surrendering to krishna and do, not doing what you see it's almost the same if i'm using the screen or the ipad screen unless unless i don't use this big screen and just like in the temple room i just use my laptop without this i have a extra screen now i did not try it without the screen uh, the computer is just horrible now so anyway so I, at least you can hear so at least but there is no sync between the audio and the video that's just very irritating but um, my man what we can do so samyata indriya so you must be very very controlled hmm. what is it control everything has to be used in a uh, service of the spiritual master and unless the spiritual master orders he should not use his senses for anything hmm he must be a slave of the spiritual master voluntarily be become a slave hmm. so then of course labdha 
ज्ञानम लब्ध्वा पराम शांतिम अचरेण आधिगच्छति अ फेथफुल मैन इज डेडिकेटेड टू ट्रांसेंडेंटल नॉलेज एंड हु सबड्यूज हिज सेंसेस इज एलिजिबल टू अचीव सच नॉलेज एंड हैविंग अचीव्ड इट ही क्विकली अटेन्स द सुप्रीम स्पिरिचुअल पीस इन इन दिस वर्स Here also it is said to understand Bhagavatam, one has to have bhakti. Bhaktiya Bhagavatam grahyam na buddhya na chatti kaya. What is that? Especially the second half of the verse. On the whole, Shri Mad Bhagavatam, the spotless Puran, can be learned a learned only through devotional service. not by material intelligence speculative methods or imaginary commentaries so we have to have full faith and you know so similar verses also there in the shrimad bhagavatam itself श्रीमद्भागवत पुराणमल यदवैष्णवा प्रिय यस्मेकमल ज्ञान परम गीयते त्र ज्ञान विराग भक्ति सहित नैष्कर्म्यमाकृत तच्छ्रुन्वन सुपठन विचारण परो भक्त विमुच्येन्न तच्छ्रुन्वन श्रृण्वन मीन्स हियरिंग सुपठन सुपठन मीन्स प्रॉपरली चैंटिंग सुपठन पठन मीन्स टू स्टडी चैंटिंग प्रॉपरली मीन्स वेन यू आर मेमोराइजिंग द वर्सेस इट इज अंडरस्टूड दैट यू आर यू आर स्टडिंग इट प्रॉपरली मेमोराइजिंग इन इन वेदिक कल्चर मेमोराइजेशन मीन्स विथ अंडरस्टैंडिंग you know when uh, vyasadev wanted to write mahabharat he said he cannot write so fast but um the ganesh he wanted ganesh to write and ganesh was would could write very fast so now vyasadev's condition to ganesh was you can only write so i will dictate and you have to write very quickly but the thing is you can only write if you understand what you're writing otherwise you cannot write it. and that was not only for ganesh anybody of this transcendental work even if one has to copy for example previously there was no printing press there were no printing presses so if we have to make a copy of a puran or some vedic scripture vedic scriptures used to be only in the temples you know and only scholars they used to have access to this books it was a great treasure and if at all a copy has to be made it would be made by a person with a very good handwriting and it should be made he can only copy it if he can understand what he is copying blindly you cannot copy and then just uh, you know make copies of it no so properly chanting means pathan pathan means to study shrinvan su pathan vicharana paro who is serious about understanding vicharan means vicharan means to think about it to contemplate on that subject matter so we have to hear we have to repeat we have to revise and we have to contemplate on the subject matter being heard in these classes or in the books of prabhupad and then above all it's not just like oh i have heard i have studied i have uh, contemplated on it but if a non devotee does it without without bhakti bhaktiya with devotion if a non devotee does it he can think about he can hear or read bhagavad gita or bhagavatam and he can uh, maybe even chant there are many people who chant vishnu sahasra nama bhagavad gita shlokas you know like anything and they may contemplate but in their own way without bhakti cannot be liberated vimuchyen naraha vimuchyet means become totally liberated naraha person so we can only become liberated if we with devotion perform these things hearing uh, revising repeating studying memorizing and then uh, contemplating on the subject 
very seriously one is one who is serious about understanding so these are the conditions under which this can be understood so then the effect will be that one will surrender gyanavan when he can gyana then he can surrender to the supreme lord because with full gyana comes surrender if i have if i call myself a gyani but i have not surrendered to the lord that means i am not in knowledge because real knowledge so is to understand that krishna is supreme i am his servant so i have to serve him so to engage in his service is then effect of knowledge hmm okay so gyanavan maam prapati vasudeva sarvam iti he understands that vasudeva is everything and it's interesting because in the purport propad said something vasudeva is everything okay let's go to first um vasudeva is everything means he has understand everything is the emanation or energy of vasudev and therefore non different from vasudev because it is dependent on vasudev everything so to see the dependence of everything on krishna hmm that is called vasudeva sarvamiti he sees the supreme lord everywhere but he knows that everything is vasudev is everything that means everything is dependent on vasudev's existence for its existence so 1520 so in the beginning one is not able to see the full personality of godhead in his spiritual form no so how to see vasudev how to understand vasudev is everything so in the beginning we can only see the material world and therefore for the neophyte the deity is there the deity form archa vigraha is a form which is made of an element which we can perceive with our senses like metal we can see and we can touch uh, stone or wood or uh, paint jewels um, sand and uh, even in the mind when they imagine the form of the lord not imagine in your own way just think about the form of the lord and meditate on the form of the lord so manomai manimai pratimashta vidhasparata shaili darumai ilohi lepya lepya lekhya sai kati manomai manimai pratimashta vidhasparata you know this was Eleven twenty-seven twelve. This is spoken by Krishna himself to Uddhava. The deity form of the Lord is said to appear in eight varieties: stone, wood, metal, earth, paint, sand, the mind, or jewels. So, this is the deity form. This was the neophyte. Apart from the deity form, one must also under- see everything in relation with Krishna, and that's why Krishna gave more information in Bhagavad Gita. Deity form is one thing, but in the temple deities are there, not everywhere, right? So how to see Krishna everywhere? Vasudeva Sarvam. How to understand? Uh, then there are these kind of instructions. Seven, eight. Bhagavad Gita. Raso ham apso kante ya prabhasmi shashi surya yo ho prana bhasar va vedeshu sabdha ke paurusham narsho. O son of Kunti, I am the taste of water, the light of the sun and the moon, the syllable Om in the Vedic mantras. I am the sound in ether and ability in man. So in this way, there are many verses like this. Um, how Krishna's energies are distributed all over his creation, and he is represented by all these things that he is mentioning: the taste of water, light of the sun and the moon, like that. So everywhere we can see his presence. Because where is the water coming from ultimately? हूज कृष्ण से इज इज माई एनर्जी भिन्ना प्रकृति राष्ट्रथा भूमिराप अनलो वायुर्खम मनोबुद्धिरेव च अहंकार भिन्ना प्रकृति राष्ट्रधा सो वाटर इज वन ऑफ द एट एलिमेंट्स ऑफ मेटीरियल नेचर एंड इज कमिंग फ्रॉम कृष्ण द एनी थिंग दैट वी सी इन दिस वर्ल्ड आर अ कॉम्बिनेशन इज अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ दीज एट एलिमेंट्स 
either one or two or all of the eight elements it is a combination of this so everything is krishna's energy so we have to become conscious of that fact that is called krishna consciousness to become conscious that krishna is everywhere he krishna has his hand in everything hmm um if we go back idam hi vishvam bhagavan ivetaro yato jagat sthan nirodha sambhavah tadhi svayam veda bhavam sthapite pradesha matram bhavata pradarshitam the supreme lord personality of godhead he is, is himself this cosmos and still he is aloof from it from him only has this cosmic manifestation emanated in him it rests and unto him it enters after annihilation your good self knows all about this i have given only a synopsis narad muni is speaking to vyasadev so he is himself the cosmos vasudeva sarvamiti but he is aloof from it as well maya tatam idam sarvam jagat avyakta murti na मत्स्थान सर्वदुर्गा नचाहम तेष अवस्थि नाइन डॉट फोर दट इज ऑलसो मेन्शन सो नाउ वी गोइंग अनादर वर्स श्रीमद्भागवत फाइव सिक्सटीन थ्री दिस वॉज कोटेड बाय सुबाला प्रभु रीसेंटली इन द क्लास ऑन संडे दस वन आई कैम टू नो ऑफ दिस भगवत दिस इज नॉट एक्चुअली वर्स इट्स लाइक अ प्रोज भगवत गुणमय स्थूल रूप आवेश मनोह्य गुणे सूक्ष्मतम आत्मज्योतिषि परे ब्रह्मणि भगवति वासुदेवाख्ये क्षम आवेश तदुहतुरोसी गुरोहस्युवर्णयुत वेन द मैंड इज फिस्ड अपॉन द सुप्रीम पर्सनालिटी ऑफ गॉड हेड इन हिज एक्सटर्नल फीचर सी वेन द मैंड इज फिस्ड अपॉन द सुप्रीम पर्सनालिटी ऑफ गॉड हेड इन हिज एक्सटर्नल फीचर मेड ऑफ द मेटीरियल मोड्स ऑफ नेचर That means the gross universal form. It is brought to the platform of goodness. In that transcendental position, one can understand the supreme personality of God, Vasudev, who is in his subtler form, who in his subtle form, subtler form is self-effulgent and beyond the modes of nature. O oh my Lord, please describe vividly how that form, which covers the entire universe, is perceived. So, try to understand. that when the mind is fixed upon the universal form it is brought to the platform of pure goodness so we have to get out of the, our base modes right we are in mode of passion ignorance we have to come to goodness not only that pure goodness so we have to how to how to come to that when the mind is fixed upon the universal form which is the external feature made of the material modes of nature external feature of godhead then it is brought to the platform of pure goodness in that transcendental position one can understand the supreme personality of god had vasudev who in his subtler form is self effulgent beyond the modes of nature so the universal form is made of material elements and everything and it is in it is a considered a gross form mm, that means material material form but in a subtler form which is very very subtle the soul is subtler than the intelligence the intelligence is subtler than the mind the, sci- the mind is subtler than the senses the senses are subtler than the body like that so the soul and the super soul are of the same subtle category hmm. so we can't see our own mind we can't see air we can't see ether we can only see fire water earth we can't see anything else we can only perceive the movement of air by seeing everything else which is made of earth water or fire move with the wind like when a tree you know is is moved with the wind the tree is visible and the movement of the tree indicates that there is wind we are not actually seeing the wind we are only seeing the effect of the wind so in this way we can't even see we only can see out of the eight material elements we can only see three fire water earth we can see the rest five we can't see air uh ether ether is more subtler than air air is more subtler than fire and subtler than ether is mind subtler than mind is intelligence subtler subtler than intelligence is false ego and subtler than false ego is the soul 
అండ్ సూపర్ సోల్ ఈస్ ద సేమ్ క్వాలిటీ స్పిరిట్ అహం బ్రహ్మాస్మి సో తత్వమసి సో ఆఫ్ ద సేమ్ కైండ్ సో ఇట్స్ వెరీ వెరీ సటిల్ సో ఇఫ్ వీ కాంట్ ఈవెన్ సీ మోస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ద మెటీరియల్ ఎలిమెంట్స్ అవుట్ ఆఫ్ ద ఎయిట్ వీ కెన్ ఓన్లీ సీ త్రీ ఆఫ్ దెమ్ త్రీ అవుట్ ఆఫ్ ఎయిట్ ఇస్ వాట్ లైక్ థర్టీ సెవెన్ పర్సెంట్ ఇస్ దాట్ సో యా థర్టీ సెవెన్ పాయింట్ ఫైవ్ పర్సెంట్ ఆఫ్ ది ఎంటైర్ మెటీరియల్ ఎనర్జీస్ వీ కెన్ సీ వీ ఆర్ నాట్ ఈవెన్ కమింగ్ టు స్పిరిచువల్ మెటీరియల్ ఎలిమెంట్స్ ఓన్లీ థర్టీ ఫైవ్ పర్సెంట్ ఆఫ్ థర్టీ సెవెన్ పాయింట్ ఫైవ్ పర్సెంట్ ఆఫ్ ది ఎలిమెంట్స్ వీ కెన్ సీ త్రీ అవుట్ ఆఫ్ ఎయిట్ థర్టీ సెవెన్ పాయింట్ ఫైవ్ పర్సెంట్ సో ఇన్ ద మెటీరియల్ వరల్డ్ వీ కాన్ సీ మోస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ద పర్సెంట్ విచ్ ఇస్ సిక్స్టీ టూ పాయింట్ ఫైవ్ పర్సెంట్ వీ కాన్ సీ so the supreme personality of godhead is subtle but we can't perceive him at the moment so how to realize him through what we can see we uh, then only we will come to the stage where we can see the subtler form so now we can see this 37.5% of the elements so through them we have to see the lord first how the lord is manifesting himself and his energies are manifesting through all these elements that we can see and perceive now in 37.5 i mean all the material elements we can perceive in different ways sound you know our ears can perceive sound which is the presence of the air or ether sorry and air you know there is wind there is touch you know if there is air sponge why is sponge is soft because there is so much air between so then there is more air like a pillow then it is soft when it is so dense no air in between then it is very hard so like that the air determines the sense of touch soft hard uh, cold hot and you know the sense of touch itself i mean when, whether something is nearby or not so these things um, we can understand so we have to now understand the supreme personality of godhead through the material energy so that is why here it is said like that when the mind is fixed upon the supreme personality of god in his external feature so purport maharaj parikshit had already been advised by his spiritual master sukadev goswami to think of the universal form of the lord and therefore following the advice of his spiritual master he continuously thought of that form the universal form is certainly material but because everything is an expansion of the energy of the supreme personality of god head ultimately nothing is material therefore parikshit maharaj Parishit Maharaj's mind was saturated with spiritual consciousness. Shri Rupa Goswami has stated, Prapanchakataya buddhya harisambandhi vastunaha mamukshubhi parityago vairagyam phalgu kathyate. Bhaktira Samrita Sindhu 1.2.255 and actually 256 this is. Everything even that which is material is connected with the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Therefore everything should be engaged in the service of the Lord. Shri Rupa Bhakti Siddhan Saraswati Thakur translates this verse as follows. श्री हरि सेवाय श्री हरि सेवाय जहां होय अनुकूल विषय बोलिया त्यागे होय भूल वन शुड नॉट गिव अप एनीथिंग कनेक्टेड विद द सुप्रीम पर्सनालिटी ऑफ गॉड हेड थिंकिंग इट मटेरियल और एंजॉयएबल फॉर द मटेरियल सेंसेस इवन द सेंसेस व्हेन प्यूरिफाइड आर स्पिरिचुअल व्हेन महाराज परीक्षित वाज थिंकिंग ऑफ द यूनिवर्सल फॉर्म ऑफ द लॉर्ड हिज माइंड वाज सर्टेनली सिचुएटेड ऑन द ट्रांसेंडेंटल प्लेटफार्म देयरफॉर ऑल्दो ही माइट नॉट हैव हैड एनी रीजन टू बी कंसर्न विद डिटेल इंफॉर्मेशन ऑफ द यूनिवर्स you see <laughs> therefore although he might not have had any reason to be concerned with the detailed information of the universe he was thinking of it in relationship with the supreme lord and therefore such geographical knowledge was not material but transcendental elsewhere in shrimad bhagavatam 1520 which is the verse i just showed narad muni has said idam hi vishvam bhagavan ivetarah the entire universe is also the supreme personality of god here although it appears different from him therefore although parishit maharaj had no need for geographical knowledge of this universe that knowledge was also spiritual and transcendental because he was thinking of the entire universe as an expansion of the energy of the lord in our preaching work also we deal with so much property and money and so many books bought and sold but because these dealings all pertain to the krishna consciousness movement they should never be considered material that one is absorbed in thoughts of such management does not mean that he is outside of krishna consciousness if one rigidly observes the regulatory principle of chanting 16 rounds of the mahamantra every day 
his dealings with the material world for the sake of spreading the krishna consciousness movement are non are not different from the spiritual cultivation of krishna consciousness so this is very very important instruction for every one of us so gyanavan maam prapadyate vasudeva sarvamiti vasudeva sarvamiti this is how we understand um so in the beginning we can't see the lord everywhere we don't have we need premanjana churita bhakti vilochanena santa sadaiva hridayeshu vilokayanti so unless one has prema love of god which is the highest stage of development of devotional service unless one is in that stage he cannot see the lord everywhere he cannot so how to understand his presence and how to think of him always if you can't see him this is the process to understand that everything is an emanation from krishna at the same time using everything in service of krishna as we understand from the shastra that everything is an expansion of krishna one second one second so we understand everything is an expansion of krishna and use everything is for his service and parishit maharaj was inqu- uh, inquisitive about sometimes he was inquisitive about the geography of the universe like where are the planets what are the, how are they situated and sometimes he was interested in uh, dynasties of different kings or different then he was interested in some incidents here and there none of them were in the spiritual world everything was happening in the material world and he was asking questions relating to either incidences or geography or history or um you know dynasties everything the every, all of that pertains to this material world but because they are in relation with krishna it is not material for example bhagavad gita was spoken at a time when two family groups were fighting among themselves two sets of cousins were fighting among themselves for the supremacy of the world i mean even now there are you know uh, such um, attempts to rule the world by different countries huh? here and there there are wars always right so how is this why are we not interested in uh, all that is happening and but we're particularly interested on that battlefield there are so many first world war happened second world war happened actually they are not the first and second world war real first world war was rama and real second world war was mahabharat um so that was real the scale of those wars are unimaginable by modern uh, calculations unimaginable mahabharat was huge ramayan was trillions and trillions and trillions of times bigger than the mahabharat even the armies i mean the army of 18 akshavahinis a total of 18 akshavahinis seven on the pandava side 11 on the kaurava side that was the total you know armies the number of people and animals that were killed i mean that were engaging in the battle in mahabharat but in ramayan the number of monkeys alone we haven't even come to the count of the the other side the ravan side Uh, you know uh, the number of asuras he had but the number of vanaras the number of monkeys on the side of ramachandra were 1000000067 zeros sometimes it is said 72 zeros you know how many this is that 1 trillion is how many what 12 zeros yeah 12 zeros is 1 trillion we're talking about 67 zeros trillions upon trillions upon trillions upon there's no count that much bigger than the mahabharat was ramayan so just try to understand why and we are not we are not interested in those wars because they were big in size no because the lord was there and therefore wherever the lord is ah that becomes a thing of interest for the devotee hmm. so just like um puranjan story i you know you don't know puranjan story uh, 
Let me show you. This is second. Yeah, this is the verse. 425, 57 through 61. This Puranjan was a king, but he was very, very attached to his wife. So his queen. So you see, this was, this was how he was attached. He was only doing what the wife was doing. Huh. When the queen drank liquor, King Puranjan also engaged in drinking. When the queen dined, he also he used to dine with her, and when she chewed, King Puranjan used to chew along with her. When the king, uh, when the queen sang, he also sang. Similarly, when the queen cried, he also cried, and when the queen laughed, he also laughed. When the queen talked loosely, he also talked loosely, and when the queen walked, the king also walked behind her, behind her, not even in front of her. When the queen would stand still, the king also would also stand still, and when the queen would lie down in bed, he would also follow and lie down with her. When the queen sat, he would also sit. And when the queen heard something, he would also follow her to hear the same thing. When the queen saw something, the king would also look at it. And when the queen smelled something, the king would also follow her to smell the same thing. When the queen touched something, the king would also touch it. And when the dear queen was lamenting, the poor king also had to follow her in lamentation. In the same way, when the queen felt enjoyment, he also enjoyed. And when the queen was satisfied, the king also felt satisfaction. This was how he was under the grip of the queen. Now, why I showed you this? Because the devotee is similarly attached. Now, this king, this Puranjan, was attached to his queen. That's why he did like this. So, a devotee is attached to Krishna. So, he will do the same thing, but with Krishna. So, Uddhava says, Tvayopabhukta sragandha vaso lankara charchitaehi Uchishta bhojino dasas tavamayan jaye mahi. You see, 11646 Bhagavad, uh, Srimad Bhagavatam. Simply by decorating ourselves with the garlands, fragrant oils, clothes, and ornaments that you have already enjoyed, and by eating the remnants of your meals, we, your servants, will indeed conquer your illusory energy. So, whatever the Lord uses, garlands, ah, the devotee also uses. Whatever the fragrant oils the Lord uses, the devotee also uses. Whatever clothes the Lord uses, he also uses. Of course, we don't wear the deity's dress, you know. What I'm saying is, <laughs> you will offer it to Krishna first. Actually, Krishna wears dhoti, so he will, devotee also wears dhoti. Ratharani wears sari, so devotee, uh, ladies also wear sari. So, we dress after them, after their style, their this thing. Um, and, and that you have already enjoyed. Ornaments, ornaments. Uh, so, he is saying, whatever ornaments you have, uh, even eventually I will have the used ornaments. Your used ornaments, Krishna, I want to use. And by eating the remnants of your meals, you know, prasadam, and we, your servants, will indeed conquer your illusory energy. So, Uddhava was a very close friend of Krishna. He could take Krishna's oils or clothes or ornaments. Not by, not that sharing. No, not sharing. Once used by Krishna, are those used ones he will use. As a prasad. So, like that. So, the same thing because the devotee is uh, attached to Krishna. So, he will do with Krishna this thing. One second. Yeah. So, everything is Krishna's. So, we cannot uh, stay away from it. We have to... If Krishna is interested in something, our devotee is also interested in something. Krishna was interested in the battlefield of Mahabharat. So, the devotee is also interested in the battlefield of that Kurukshetra. Because Krishna was interested. Um, uh, Ram was interested in, um, you know, Ayodhya and, you know, he... 
waged the war against uh, Ravan. Uh, we are interested in that whole story, and we are also interested in Ayodhya. Uh, devotees uh, visit visit all the places where Krishna has personally went there before. Because Krishna went there, or Ram went there, or any other incarnation went there, and uh, therefore devotee also goes there. Just yes, because the Lord went there. Otherwise, devotee has nothing to do with that place. Because the Lord was interested, devotee was interested. So, um, this is attachment. This is a sign of attachment. So, in the materially, it, it is actually condemned. If, if a man is like that, just now we have read. Uh, I mean, I don't know if he is even going to be called a man. He is just a pet animal in the hand of the queen. That's all. Actually, there is that verse. It's a very nice verse. Grand style of the king. Nirjitya dikchakram abhuta vigraho varasanastaha samaraja vanditaha grheshu maithunya sukheshu yoshitam kridam rigahapu rusha ishaniyate. King, you see how big king he is. Much bigger than Alexander the Great or Genghis Khan or anybody like that. Having conquered the entire circle of directions and being thus free of conflict, a man sits on a splendid throne receiving praise from leaders who were once his equals. Now they are praising him as a big god almost. At one po- Once upon a time they were his equals but now he, is, he has climbed to the level of an emperor. So he is very exalted. But when he enters the women's chambers where sex pleasure is found, he is led about like a pet animal, O Lord. Big conqueror, big master of the world. When he goes into the bedroom, then we will know who is the real master. The woman moves moves him about like a pet animal. You know? King Puranjan was like that. You know? Full master, you know. Very valiant warrior, but you see how he was just an animal, pet animal in the hands of the queen. So, that is very abominable in the material world. But the same thing if we do for Krishna, Tava Mayam Jayemahi, here when he is this king is like this, he is completely in Maya, completely in Maya. But Uddhava said, Tava Mayam Jaye Mahi. If we do this, if we do whatever, if we are interested in whatever you are interested in, Tava Mayam Jaye Mahi. We will conquer over Maya. We will cross your Maya. Whereas here, we do this to a woman, we will be under the Maya. Therefore, it is said, if we do that with the Sadhu, instead of Krishna, we do it with the Sadhu. That is also Tava Mayam Jaye Mahi. We will cross the ocean of Maya. By following the so this uh, famous verse is there. Five five two. Mahat Sevam Dwaram Ahur Vimuktes Tamo Dwaram Yoshitang Sangi Sangam Mahantaste Samachitta Prashanta Viman Yavasu Hurda Sadhavoye One can attain the path of liberation from material bondage only by receiving, uh, sorry, rendering service to highly advanced spiritual personalities. These personalities are impersonals and devotees. Impersonalists, we go to Brahma Jyoti, devotees, we go to Vaikuntha, if we serve these respective people. So, path of liberation, both are considered liberated. But, especially for devotees, the path of liberation is, you know, can be attained only by rendering service to the uh, highly advanced devotees. Whether one wants to merge into the Lord's existence or wants to associate with the personality of Godhead, one should render service to the Mahatmas. For those who are not interested in such activities, who associate with people fond of women and sex, the path to hell is wide open. The Mahatmas are equipoised. They do not see any difference between one living entity and another. They are very peaceful and fully engaged in devotional service. 
devoid of anger, work for benefit of everyone, they do not behave in any abominable way, such people are known as Mahatmas. So, difference of the same attachment. And therefore, there are two verses. Prasanga majaram pasham Atmano kavayo viduho Saeva sadhu shukrito mokshadvaram apavritam Hmm. Prasanga Majaram Pasham Atmana Kavayovitu Saiva Sadhukrutam Mokshadvaram Apavritam. Every learned man knows very well that attachment for the material is the greatest entanglement of the spirit soul. But that same attachment, when applied to the self realized devotees, opens the door of liberation. Devotees or Krishna? Of course, we cannot go to Krishna without devotees. Hmm. Same thing is reiterated in this verse, 323.55. Sango yaha samsra terhetur asat suvihito dhiya saeva sadhu shukrito ne sangatvaya kalpate. Association for sense gratification is certainly the path of bondage. But the same type of association performed with the saintly person leads to the path of liberation, even if performed without knowledge. You see that? So sense gratification association is so similar this is a similar thing if one is attached to his wife or one is attached to krishna the result is different one goes to hell one goes to one goes to tama one goes to uttama you know tama means ignorance uttama means transcendental to all ignorance highest Uttamagati and Tamagati. So, yeah, this is a good point. Subal Prabhu is saying, so the prostitute was very intelligent to advise Balvangal Thakur to change his attraction. So, very good point. Um, what is that? 1.57. Yeah. So, Balvangal Thakur. Chintama Nirjayati so oh, this is what Chintama Nirjayati so Magirir Guru Rume Shiksha Guru Shabhagavan Shiki Pincha Mauli Yat Pada Kalpata Rupal Lava Shekhareshu Leela Swayam Vararasam Labhate Jayashri All glories to Chintamani, Bilumangal Thakur is saying. All glories to Chintamani and my initiating spiritual master, Somagiri. All glories to my instructing spiritual master, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, who wears peacock feathers in his crown. Under the shade of his lotus feet, which are like desire trees, Jayashri, Radharani, enjoys the transcendental mellow of an eternal consort. So, Bilumangal Thakur is uh, glorifying Chintamani. But this Chintamani was a prostitute and he was very attracted to this prostitute so he, she just asked him so one day with a great storm great storm was going on but he crossed the river his father died and he quickly did the rites of the father funeral rites and without even completing the rites properly he ran you know he said no i need to go i need to go he is dealing with the death of his father at least some contemplation should happen i am also going to die you know i should like you know be more sensible i shouldn't be like you know, too much into sense gratification, nothing. Uh, father had to quickly finish, finish, okay, okay, run, 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 run. Uh, clouds are coming, you know, big storm will be coming. Run. So he ran and then the big storm already came. And he crossed the river in that storm. And he hold on to the one log and then crossed the river somehow. But when he came to the other side, he saw there was not a log, it was a dead body of a man. Oh. Then, okay, he ran still. And then he finally ran to that uh, house of the prostitute prostitute house had uh, big huge walls tall walls so he just found a rope and then climbed and then uh, jumped onto the other side into the into the compound because he was shouting her name but she could not hear thunder lightning and you know the sound of the rain and so heavy so heavy so she he she couldn't hear the, her, the sound of his shouting 
So he was calling her and calling her. No, he just uh, jumped and jumped on the other side. Then he found out it was not a rope; it was a snake. Then in that way he was oh okay. Then he knocked on the door, knocked on the door very loudly. Ah, uh, then she opened the door and she was shocked to see him. What is this? How come you are here? Ah, uh, it's such a big storm. How did you even make it across the river and everything? Then he said, "I love you. I love you. I'll do anything for you." Like a big hero, he said, you know. Chintamani was like, "If only this much affection you had for the Lord, ah, uh, you would have been such a great devotee by now." Immediately changed his mind. Because actually, in this previous verse, he was until bhava. Ah, uh, so uh, if one can do, you see, this is what love does, or attraction, or such intense attraction for anyone. How much risk he took, and he did not even consider the risk as very great. You know, compared to meeting her. So, how can one take risks for Krishna when he is preaching? Like Prabhupada took great risk to go to America. How can one take such risks? Only when one loves Krishna. Oh, it is very difficult. How to do this and that? Nothing is difficult for a person who loves Krishna. For that love, just like what Bilwangal Thakur did for Chintamani, I mean, no consideration of anything. So, if one is not concerned about anything, no, 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 Krishna must be glorified. Krishna message must go around. No matter I die or whatever, I, I just need to grow and do this. Order of the spiritual master must be followed. So, if one can be similarly attached to the order of the spiritual master, tat paraha, being very attached to the knowledge, you know, we have seen 439 in Bhagavad Gita. Attached to it means like this attached, like this uh, Bilamangal Thakur. Okay, we can condemn, we will laugh about him, ha 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 ha, what a rascal, you know, he come, came out from his father's funeral, and, you know, like an idiot he was going. Well, only Chintamani told him once, and then he became devotee. Of course, he f- almost fell down another time, then he blinded himself. But he became a dev- devotee because of that. But we <laughs> are being told every day, every second, we are not changing. Huh? So, uh, but even the other way, we can see how attra- how much attra- an attraction can cause a person to go mad. So, a transcendental madness one can have for Krishna. Preeti Purvakam, with attachment. Preeti means attached. So, unless we get that attachment to Krishna, our material life is not going to be finished. We are going to be here in the material world, cemented. We, will, we are not going anywhere going anywhere if uh, we have, don't have such attachment to Krishna. Preetirna yavan mai vasudeve namuchyate deha yogena tavat. Bhajatam preeti purvakam. You see here, Evam manaha karmavasham prayunkte avidyayatman yupadhiyamane preetirna yavan mai vasudeva namuchyate deha yogena tavat Karmavasham, when, we, when our mind is full of karma, fruitive activity in the material world, then avidyayatmane, and that fruitive activity tendency is there because of avidya, complete ignorance. So, in such way, even though if we are devotees, if we have any trace of karma vasham subjugated by fruitive activities, being under the control of activity, vasham means under the control, under the grip of. So, if we are under the grip of fruitive activity, then preetirna yavan mai vasudeve, yavat means as long as we don't have preeti for vasudeva, that attachment, that intense attachment for vasudeva. When the living entity is covered by the mode of ignorance, he does not understand the individual living being and the supreme living being and his mind is subjugated by fruitive activity. Therefore, unless one has love for Vasudev, who is none other than myself, he is certainly not delivered from having to accept a material body again and again. He is certainly not delivered. We cannot be delivered. Certainly, we are certainly going to stay here in this material world as long as we don't have love for Vasudev. Preetirna yavan, preetirna yavan, mai vasudeva. As long as we don't have attraction for vasudeva. So that is the platform of love. Ah, 41119, yes. Hmm. 
Okay, very nice quote from the Mithri Prabhu. 4.11.19 Year after year, 4.11.19 purport. Year after year, many books are published for public reading regarding Hitler's killing of thousands of Jews in confinement, but no one is researching who killed Hitler <laughs> and who created such a gigantic killer of human beings. The devotees of the Lord are not much interested in the study of the flickering history of the world. They are interested only in Him who is the original creator, maintainer and annihilator. That is the purpose of the Krishna Consciousness Movement. Beautiful. Hitler, who created the destroyer and who destroyed the destroyer? That is the ultimate creator and destroyer. So, so the, lo- uh, the devotees are always interested in Saranam. They are not interested in the Nimitta. Nimitta means the immediate cause. But they know how to connect all the immediate... It is not that they uh, do not notice. They notice. But they know ultimately how everything is working behind the scenes also. But as ordinary historians, they cannot do that. Hmm. So anyway, in this way, Vasudeva Sarvamiti. So, in history, in geography, in mathematics, in sociology, in psychology, in politics, in any sphere, we, in art, in sports, anything we see, we have to connect it with Krishna. Like recently I was, you know, <clears throat> reading in the 10th canto, Krishna was playing football. Now, football is, you know, a very attractive sport for many people. And Krishna was playing football. With what? What was the ball? The bale fruit. The bale fruit, you can Google it. It's like a ball. Actually, recently, I, you know, was collecting some fruits and vegetables from one uh, vendor. Uh, shopkeeper who donates to us so he donated a few vegetables and all that then I asked him what is this fruit so he said this is bale fruit bale fruit oh bale leaves are used by Lord Shiva okay this is mm, bale fruit so okay I, I did not know how the fruit would look like and how it would taste like so and I asked him can I take one of this and see what it is so then I took this and I took a photograph nowadays, you know, with the phone, Google Lens app. If you have Google Lens app on your phone, especially Android, I don't know. I think there is a Google Lens for Apple. I don't know. If you take it and search it, image search, image search Google, and then it comes bale fruit, and then. So I searched in our pocket Vedas, our Veda base, bale fruit. So then I got to this place where in the 10th tenth, tenth canto where Krishna and Balram used to play with bale fruit uh, football Krishna, Balram and all the cowherd boys and that is hard fruit actually the shell is hard but inside it, it is not very heavy though uh, it's interesting um, Himanshu is saying bale is very popular in North India yeah I have never seen that was the first time we offered the fruit to Krishna and then we ate very very nice taste I was I never tasted anything like that very nice so inside it is light, but it is hard on the outside. So it can be used as a ball. You can kick it as much as you like. It will not deform. It will not be deformed. So Krishna used to play football with that. <laughs> and he used to play football also with uh, Amla. Gooseberries. Uh, smaller ball. You know, you need more precision. So they used to do all these things. So anyway, if you see anything, sports or anything, war, we are concerned with Krishna. So Krishna has involved himself in all these activities which materialists would involve themselves. But because Krishna is involved in that, that becomes transcendental. Hmm. 116.6 Nice, 116.6 Athavasya padam bhojam makarandaliham satam kimanyaira sadala pair ayusho yadasad vyayaham. Or please speak of topics related to the devotees of the Lord. 116.6. Hmm. 
Okay, please speak of the topics related to the devotees of the Lord who are accustomed to licking up the honey available from the lotus feet of the Lord. What is the use of topics which simply waste one's valuable life? Good. Topics related to the devotees. Lord Krishna and his devotees are both on the transcendental plane. Therefore, the topics of Lord Krishna and of his pure devotees are equally good. The battle of Kurukshetra is full of politics and diplomacy, but because the topics are related with Lord Krishna, the Bhagavad Gita is therefore adored all over the world. There is no need to eradicate politics, economics, sociology, etc., which are mundane to the mundaners. To a pure devotee who is actually related with the Lord, such mundane things are transcendental if dovetail, if dovetail with the Lord or with his pure devotees. We have heard and talked about the activities of the Pandavas and we are now are dealing with the topics of Maharaj Parikshit. But because all these topics are related to Lord Sri Krishna, they are all transcendental and pure devotees have great interest in hearing them. We have already discussed in connection with the prayers of Bhishma Dev. So, not only are devotees interested in spiritual politics like Mahabharat, they also offer advice based on the politics of Mahabharat and similar such Krishna politics like Krishna, wherever Krishna was involved or his devotees were involved. Now they are not interested in normal politics but they will take the lessons from Krishna's politics and his devotees politics or you know like that or any such topic and then they will apply and they give suggestion to the materialists how one can spiritualize one's politics, one's sports, one's anything once anything by adding krishna to them so he may like prabhupada he commented on contemporary world affairs in his back to god magazine and also some of his purports he um, refers or alludes to you know um, materialist i mean modern such civilization and he offers advice on how this can be corrected by putting Krishna in the center and that will be the best adjustment. And so, he is still not blind to material politics when they are happening, although he is not interested in them. But he will give them idea of how to make it spiritual. See? So, in that way, uh, he will take ad- uh, lessons from the Krishna's uh, lessons, I mean pastimes and instructions and then advice is the same to the mundaners so this way he always sees everything but sees everything in relation with krishna this is called vasudeva sarvamiti from all angles of vision actually where is that um, i think this is the verse shrimad bhagavatam 4 28 40 no maybe 41 Yes, 428-41, Srimad Bhagavatam. Sakshad Bhagavat Oktena Guru Naharina Nirpa Vishuddha Jnana Deepena Spurata Vishvato Mukham This word Vishvato Mukham is very important. In this way, King Malayadhvaja attained perfect knowledge because in his pure state, he was directly instructed by the Supreme Personality of Godhead. By such, uh, by means of such enlightening transcendental knowledge, he could understand everything from all angles of vision. So, in in this case, uh, the supreme personality of Godhead was his guru. But similarly, like like for Arjuna, Krishna is the guru. But a bona fide spiritual master coming in the parampara of Krishna, if one takes knowledge from him, we can get perfect knowledge. And by means of such enlightening transcendental knowledge, the disciple can understand everything from all angles of vision. So, Vishwato Mukham. Hmm. So, that is uh, very important. A devotee should see everything. So, how to understand this Vasudeva Sarvamiti? Now, I am seeing the material things. Now, I, see, I need to see the connection with Vasudeva. So, this is where the Shastric descriptions help us. The Shastras link everything to Krishna how many analogies I have mentioned this many times how many analogies there are huh? and it is an actually observation in the material world but it is linked to Krishna for example in the second chapter there are few analogies like the changing of a dress we are changing dresses every day so 
changing of the body we can immediately um, you know understand we can uh, meditate on the instruction of changing body or oh, i am not permanent i am the soul i am have to change the body so i can so it's a day to day example but you know the day to day thing can be connected to spiritual knowledge just a matter of changing clothes can be immediately our thought can go to reincarnation and this is what krishna said in the bhagavad gita and another analogy is um, tortoise tortoise 258 kormongani va sarvasha so the tortoise can bring out its limbs when it wants to walk when he wants to just um, wind up he will just wind up and you know he will be like a shell only so a devotee also manifests his senses when he wants to use them in krishna service otherwise he is withdrawn only when in the service of krishna he manifests them and uses them otherwise he is withdrawn he will speak he will use his tongue when speaking only about krishna about nonsense he will just withdraw yeah so and then there are there are um, you know the the boat on the ocean you know is swept away by the wind powerful wind so similarly uh, one of the even one of the powerful senses that we have can sweep away a man and then there is uh, this thing of the ocean uh, the ocean is always full and very deep and many many rivers are flowing the water is coming into the ocean tons and tons and millions and millions of tons of water are entering the ocean every second from all kind of rivers in every part of the earth but still the ocean is not getting more and more full and uh, the height is not increasing uh, the such rivers do not disturb the rivers may think i am giving so much water to the ocean but ocean doesn't for ocean doesn't he is not bothered it's not a great offering and it doesn't pay much attention to that in all of that but then similarly uh, still remain grave and unagitated so similarly the desires may come and attack the devotee but the devotee is so full in water i mean happiness just like the ocean is so full in water that if, like these rivers although millions of tons of water every second it is nothing compared to the water that the ocean already has so similarly the materialistic desires may come like waves of a river do flowing from all directions but a person who has so much water so much happiness from krishna consciousness unlimited ocean of happiness for him these offerings of hap- so called happiness from material senses and sources doesn't mean anything and is not agitated by them hmm. so that that is the thing <clears throat> yeah duryodhan's politics in the first chapter was very good <laughs> yeah he was uh, nicely buttering up you know this uh, bhishma dev and dronacharya like anything and he was buttering up all his commanders in chief now dimitri is saying just like prabhupad quoted shlokas of chanakya pandit although he wasn't a devotee shri prabhupad made them related to krishna consciousness and used them favorable to his preaching yeah i mean himanshu said prabhu i thought he was a vaishnava not um, so much he is uh, most of, mostly moral instructions chanakya niti shastra um Yeah, mostly moral instructions so anyway um so this is vasudeva sarvamiti so unless we are attached tatparaha tatparaha in 4.39 shraddha va labhate gyanam tatparaha samyate indriya ha hmm hmm okay there is some okay he is definitely looks like is a uh, he who has no devotion for the lotus feet of nan son of mother yashoda whose tongue is not attached to chant the sweet qualities of the daughter of uh, bhira one whose ear is not tuned to listening to the mellows of the beautiful passive lord krishna those person should hear the mridanga bol dhitta dhitta dhikyatin 
फाइव अपॉन हिम सूत्र वन सिक्सटी टू चाणक्य नीति वाओ सो ही वॉज अ डिवोटी हाँ आई ऑल्सो थॉट ही वॉज लाइक यू नो मॉरलिस्ट एंड ओके बिटो मायावादी सो ही वॉज अ डिवोटी बट मोस्ट ऑफ हिज इंस्ट्रक्शन आर हियर इट इज इट लुक्स लाइक यू नो इट्स वेरी मच स्ट्रेट कृष्ण कॉन्शियसनेस स्ट्रेट कृष्ण कॉन्शियसनेस हियर बट या मोस्ट ऑफ इज चाणक्य नहीं थी वॉज अ बिट लाइक मॉरल प्रिंसिपल्स बट या लुक्स लाइक इट्स इंटरेस्टिंग टू नो दैट ही वॉज अ क्वाइट अ स्ट्रॉन्ग डिवोट इट लुक्स लाइक फ्रॉम दिस वर्स I always understood he was like a brahmana, but you know not like devotee. But here it looks like it. He is a devotee, right? This is interesting. So, so I mean, many ways. I mean, uh, the the atheists have created so much technology, but Krishna, I mean, devotees use it. So this uh, Vasudeva Sarvamiti means everything is the property of Vasudev. and must be used in his service and it must be seen in his, in relation with him ऋतेर्थम यत् प्रतीयेता न प्रतीयेत चात्मने तद् विद्यादात्मनो मायां यथा भासो यथा तमः Oh Brahma, whatever appears to be of any value, if it is without relation to me, has no reality. Know it as my illusory energy, that reflection which appears to be in darkness. What is actually existing that has no reality with Krishna? Uh, sorry, no connection or no relation with Krishna. Everything is related with Krishna. But what is the meaning of if it is without relation to me? So that means when we forget its relationship with Krishna, then it has no reality of its own. Uh, without krishna being in the in the picture if we are try to understand something that is just illusion hmm. to think that a reflection is uh, real or a shadow is real no the real object is real these reflection and shadow are dependent on the object hmm. so if we think the reflection is real then that is you know there is a problem that we have a problem सो दट्स दैट वासुदेव सर्वमित स महात्मा हाँ सो वासुदेव सर्वमित वन मदर पॉइंट आई वॉन्ट टू मेक हिम आई शोन दिस बिफोर ऑल्सो इज विश्वतो मुखम सो बिकॉज नाउ वी कैनॉट सी वासुदेव एवरीवेयर वी हैव टू कनेक्ट एवरी थिंग दैट वी सी टू वासुदेव थ्रू द मीडियम ऑफ द शास्त्र दिस इज कॉल शास्त्र चक्षुषा so we are not seeing the relation with every of everything with vasudev so but with the lens of the shastra we can see everything is related to krishna so how to see 11931 na he kasma guru or gyanam susthiram syat supushkalam brahmai tadat vitiyam vai giyate bahudhar shibhi now this verse itself is a controversial verse um, but its meaning is understood only by vaishnava acharyas and they have definitely explained what it means and in that explanation i want to show the meaning of this uh, vasudeva sarvamiti so here the translation although the absolute truth is one without a second the sages have described him in many ways many different ways therefore one may not be able to acquire firm very firm or complete knowledge from one spiritual master so shridhar swami comments on this verse as follows the statement that one requires many spiritual masters certainly needs needs explanation since practically all great saintly persons of the past did not accept only one did not take shelter of many spiritual masters was uh, spiritual masters but rather accepted one the words giyate bahudhar shibhi was glorified in many ways by the by the sages indicate the personal and impersonal understandings so in this way it is mentioned Okay, th- this explanation is there in this purport. Now, I actually wanted to take it to Jiva Goswami. Sri Lal Jiva Goswami comments as follows on this verse: Since it is commonly understood that one is to accept a single spiritual master, why is it recommended that one learn from many so-called spiritual masters? 
appearing in the forms of ordinary material objects the explanation is that one's worshipable spiritual master will instruct one in many departments of knowledge by giving lessons gleaned from ordinary objects so the guru he connects everything to krishna and even from the words of the shastra there are so many ordinary things which relate to krishna the other day we were having chaitanya charitamrita class and the tree we were we were learning about the tree the tolerance and mercifulness of a tree and how chaitanya mahaprabhu himself wanted to become a tree and distribute the fruits and the seeds from those fruits you know bring more further more trees so that is uh, you know from an ordinary tree example we are learning a very 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 confidential truth about krishna the whole parampara system everything we are learning how love of god had sprouts how love of god had grows and uh, the fruit of love of god had and then the seeds from that and then all these things we learned just from the example of a tree so every time we see a tree we can learn so many things from a tree hmm so so the tree is teaching us but how is the tree teaching us tree personally is not self realized uh, but how can this not self realized person teach us self realization so am i accepting a guru who is not uh, self realized so <laughs> the explanation is the spiritual master's teachings of um, will be there and the shastra and the spiritual master explains the shastra and from those examples and you know from ordinary objects he gleans so many lessons and instructions for us so when we see those objects it will remind us of the instruction of the spiritual master the one spiritual master who gave us the instruction so in that way the tree becomes a reminder of the spiritual master's instructions and everything in the world becomes a reminder of the guru's instructions the shastra's instructions so this is called shastra chakshusha seeing through the eyes of the shastra Mm. this is called tatparah being very attached to that knowledge um, and seeing everything through that knowledge so then only he can labhate gyanam then we can have preeti preeti vasudeva preeti all these things can happen so then he is mad mahatma sudurlabha uh, mahatma he is a great soul so it's not ordinary it's not just like you know very casual mahatma Oh, some Mahatma Gandhi. As I told the other day, that Gandhi he called some people who were being discriminated against. He called them Harijan. But they were the same rascals. I mean, they did not elevate themselves in their life, life, uh, lifestyle. They did not come to the mode of goodness and became actually devotees of Hari. Harijan means the devotee of Hari, Vaishnav. But he, without without making them Vaishnav, he just called them Harijan, uh, Harijan. is giving them a different name it's a euphemism it's a is just giving a different name the quality has not changed different packaging of the same nonsense so he put a rubber stamp on them you are harijan you are great you are uh, people of god harijan and they also gave him another title in in response you are mahatma you are harijan you are mahatma both fools huh स्वावित वराहोष्ठ खराय पुन संस्तुता पुरुष पशु नयत नयत करण पथो पे तो जातु नाम गदाग्रज हम मेन हु आर लाइक डॉग्स हॉग्स कैमल्स एंड एसेस प्रेज दोस मेन हु नेवर लिसन टू द इंस्ट्रक्शंस ऑफ और पास्ट टाइम्स ऑफ कृष्णा सो अ नॉन डिवोटी ही मे ग्लोरीफाई अनदर नॉन डिवोटी एज अ ग्रेट महात्मा एंड ही मे कॉल हिम देम एज हरिजन बट द क्वालिटी हैज नॉट चेंज ही रिमेन द सेम फूल ही रिमेन दे रिमेन द सेम फूल all fools so sorry of fools so this rubber stamping won't help anybody yes discrimination is bad but to counter discrimination we should not just uh, name sake change something no change it by quality the brahmanas who discriminated against these people also are name sake brahmanas to counter such name sake discrimination he gave them another name sake name harijan and harijan they were very happy and they called him mahatma all names sake the brahmanas were names sake the the harijans were names sake and the mahatma was names sake and they were all thinking that you know we are big non violent mahatmas you know harijans we are and brahmanas thinking we are brahmanas quality has not changed all rascals all rascals so prabhupad he actually made people harijans he went to america made them harijan 
and now he gave them name your name is govinda das your name is krishna das your name is madhusudan das you know he gave them name and that name is by qualification uh, oh he is actually das of krishna he is serving krishna not just you know da- krishna das oh you are servant of god just by even though you are not so we should not become namesake and after initiation we should also not remain namesake and hey, now i'm supposed to be das so i have to really you know conduct myself like that and if i receive brahman initiation and i don't know anything shastra what can kind i of brahman is that i should rise up to that level hmm brahmana means brahma janati the brahmana the definition of brahmana is brahma janati the brahman if he does not understand brahma what can kind of brahmana is name sick we should not become name sick movement uh, we should become actually actually qualified vasudeva sarvamithi sa mahatma sudurlabha so krishna is clearly explaining what is mahatma and anybody who has these qualifications of gyanavan and maam prabadyate and vasudeva sarvamithi if they are living like this he is mahatma mahatma astu maam partha daivim prakriti maashrita bhajan jananya manaso gyatva bhuta dimavyayam mahatmanastu maam partha so oh son of pratha those who are not deluded the great souls mahatmas are under the protection of the divine nature they are fully engaged in devotional service because they know me as a supreme personality of godhead original and inexhaustible so this is mahatma so there is the definition of mahatma and of course as we said a few in the previous few sessions again krishna is being actually very kind by calling such people as mahatmas in today's verse actually ah <laughs> uh, especially after reading that verse from uh, sanatan goswami brahad bhagavata amrita you know that verse the day you all shared that uh, that's the most that has to be the most painful verse in the whole of shastra so krishna i please share that verse in the comment section so that i can show it on the screen so in this verse i mean he said when the gopakumar after going through the whole material world and you know in millions and millions of lifetimes he finally went back to krishna so krishna said said to go to gopakumar you know how long i have been waiting for you i am i have been sitting in the heart in your heart as paramatma uh, and i was witnessing and every life i i dance like a fool krishna is saying i dance like a fool uh, oh this life is going to come back to me this life is going to come krishna is dancing yeah after this life is going to come back to me huh and i dance like a fool so he called himself a fool for dancing in happiness thinking that he will come ha bha 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 tam bha so you see ha bha bha tam rata 82 text bahuni gamitani anga janma janmani bhavade bhavata shaka so dear friend somehow you pass many births without coming to see me asmin asmin nihe haiva bhave bhavi madunmukha इति आशया तवात्यंत नार्तितोस्मी यदग्न्यवात होपिंग दैट इन दिस इन दिस इन दिस इन दिस बर्थ यू वुड टर्न टू मी आई डांस द सफूल सो आफ्टर लर्निंग दिस वर्स कृष्णा इज कॉलिंग हिमसेल्फ यू नो हाउ बैड आवर सिचुएशन एक्चुअली इज जस्ट जस्ट इमेजिन हाउ बैड आवर सिचुएशन इज we are fools bahunam janma and clearly actually krishna is in plain sight you know in the first on the last line he said mahatma sudurlabha ha huh? but first line he said bahunam janmana mante fools like a fool one has gone janmana many many lifetimes and krishna has been krishna lost hope on us so much that he 
considered himself a fool for having hope in us <laughs> hey oh krishna this is like this verse has to put everybody to shame it's a, it's a, it it exposes complete nonsense of our uh, existence in the material world this verse is the most shameful verse i mean it it has to i mean it makes us the most guilty it's the most painful verse of all how much love krishna has that's one side i mean how i mean when we were as a pig and he was still thinking this life you know he may eat some prasadam from some devotee or maybe become my devotee in this life you know and we are so full that to have hope in us he considered himself full to have hope in this hopeless person is foolish so i dance like a fool like a like a one who has no hope actually the next text mentions more about how krishna desperately wants us wants to bring us back okay what is that brother i could not find a pretext to bring you to my abode and still protect <laughs> the ancient rules of religion oh this is so hopeless this is hopeless sanatan goswami explains that had gopakumar chanted the holy name even as achamil and others had done the lord could have brought him to his abode you see what krishna is saying here <laughs> uh i have to put that again you see chalam chana labhe kinchit yendyam yenadyam yenadyam paripalayan nibandham svakritam bhratar anayami atmanah padam you know i could not find a pretext to bring you to my abode and still protect the ancient rules of religion you know what that means i had to break some rule to bring you if i protect all the rules of the religion the sanatan dharma i could not find a reason to bring you here i broke the rules of religion to bring you here you were so hopeless you know that's what i understand i could not find a pretext to bring you to my abode and still protect the ancient rules of religion either one i have to break either i have to protect the rules of religion and keep you in the material world or bring you here by breaking the rules so bad is our position huh and here krishna is so kind that bahunam janma are first line is saying bahunam jan you were like a fool i lost hope in you i consider myself fool for having hope in you um but if you have achieved gyana and you have surrendered to me knowing me to be everything i consider you mahatma he is glorifying he is glorifying an absolute fool who has finally realized that he is a fool and now he has become intelligent he is calling him ah finally you have changed okay good good for you no 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 mahatma this is krishna's mercy how much is krishna's mercy you know this this is because dimitri nice verses to add to our piggy bank for preaching yes certainly certainly i mean bhrityasya pashyati guru napina paradhan sevam anagapikritam bahudabhyupaiti avishkaroti pishuneshva pinabhyasuyam shilena nirmalamati purushottamoyam sevam managapikritam bahudabhyupaiti the supreme personality of godhead who is known as purushottam the greatest of all persons has a pure mind he is so gentle that even if his servant is implicated in a great offense he does not take it very seriously indeed if his servant renders some small service the lord accept is accepts it as being very great even if an envious person blasphemes the lord the lord never manifests anger against him such are his great qualities so little bit service or oh, great he accepts it as being very great seva managa pikritam bahuda abhyupayita so it is his mercy that he is considering his mahatmas we should never be having the you know pride that we are some mahatmas i mean come on let's be very honest 
if krishna was really honest with us huh he is hiding all of his pain and saying he is calling us mahatmas if we become surrender to him huh he calling his uh, he is hiding all his pain and he is offering us solutions of how we can solve our pain hmm. by speaking the bhagavad gita arjuna was in pain so krishna solved his pain but actually how much pain krishna had arjuna only remembered this life krishna remembers all our lives and every million and trillions of the living entities how many countless living entities he remembers all the pains and he is intimately related with all of them how much pain it will be for him but he is tolerating all of that huh and okay lord is dancing in that verse you know i, I was dancing like a fool in the waiting thinking that in this life you will come back to me in this life you will come back to me. okay why is he dancing usually why we dance when somebody you know for somebody oh he is coming he is coming because we will get something you know out of it uh, krishna has nothing to gain from us why is he waiting and dancing that he will we will come back to him there is nothing we are there is nothing to gain from us only out of love uh, so we should be ashamed of ourselves absolutely ashamed and he calling us mahatma we should be even more ashamed of course this mahatma is for completely pure devotee but anyone who anybody who is on this path is at least on the path back to becoming a mahatma but still we should be ashamed uh, that you know krishna is actually calling bahunam janmanam and the people as mahatmas but of course when one becomes perfect he becomes as perfect as those nitya siddhas that is also there but for oneself we must think that you know what is my position actually so i think i would wrap up with that um i'll take any questions or comments on this topic but that kind of rajeshwari mahat ji is saying that uh, regarding i think puranjans uh, behavior but that kind of attitude of husbands bring pleasure to wife mm to an extent to an extent actually the woman wants to be guided by the husband and he wa- she actually likes a strong man but by if a man is so weak he is just a plaything in the hand of a woman she may like manipulating him but actually she does not find much satisfaction she finds satisfaction being chased in a to a strong husband not a weak husband actually <coughs> Satyam Chaudhary is asking As we saw that Shraddhava Lavate Jnanam uh, how, So how do we become Shraddhavan Prabhu? How do we increase our Shraddha? By associating with those who have Who are very rich in Shraddha hmm? I will explain in this first i think which many of you already know shrimad bhagavatam 325.25 satam prasangan mama virya samvido bhavante hrit karna rasayana katha tad joshana dashva pavarga vartmani shraddha ratir bhaktir anukramishyati shraddha ratir and bhakti firm faith so how we become shraddhavan this is how in the association of pure devotees discussion of the past times and activities of the supreme personality of godhead is very pleasing and satisfying to the ear and the heart by cultivating such knowledge one gradually becomes advanced on the path of liberation and thereafter he is freed and his attraction becomes fixed then real devotion and devotional service begin <clears throat> 
is free and his attraction becomes fixed. So, this attraction is actually nothing but Shraddha. Shraddha, Ratir, Bhaktir. Attraction is actually Ratir. Uh, the word faith is not even here. But actually, Shraddha means the faith. Firm faith. So, here you can see Shraddha. So, Shraddha. So, first there will be firm faith and then the attraction and devotion. Anukramishiti will follow in order one by one. How to become Shraddhavan? By becoming, by associating with other Shraddhavans who are rich in Shraddha. Divya Mahathas. Prabhuji, we are indebted to the spiritual master who is spreading the transcendental message of Krishna. Does it mean to the instructing spiritual masters as well? If there are so many instructing spiritual masters, then we are indebted to, indebted to all of them? Yes. Of course. All of them. Means if the same attachment there to is there to Guru will follow properly. Yes, similar. So attachment to woman is the path to hell. Attachment to Satam. What is that? Um Mahat Sevam Dwaram Ahur Vimuktes. Tamodwaram Yoshitam Sangi Sangam. So this uh, Mahat Seva, Mahat means who? Devotees. Mahatma. What about people who study shloka and remembering doing all puja have no realizations they will go next again human birth? Hmm. Depends. I mean, depends. So, if he is properly initiated by a proper spiritual master, at least he will not go into animal life. I mean, he, he may go still, actually, honestly. Bharat Maharaj was initiated by Rishabh Dev, his father, who was his guru as well. Bonafide spiritual master, supreme personality of Godhead himself. Next life, he became dear. So, it is very rare circumstances that one falls so badly, if one actually becomes a Shraddhavan and proper disciple but there is every chance actually even if one is properly there is a verse of course adikshita savamor kritam sarva nirarthakam pashi onim avapnoti shraddho virahito jana what is that i think 15 or 108 right So, unless one is initiated by bona fide spiritual master, all his devotional activities are useless. A person who is not prepared, properly initiated can descend again into the animal species. Diksha virahito jana. Pashyoni mavapnot, diksha virahito jana. So, if... But even properly initiated people can go to animal species. It's not that they cannot. Bharat Maharaj is a prime example. So, but the thing is, have no realization so if, is if he is properly initiated at least there is a chance if he is not initiated still there is some thing like gajendra he was in the king indradyumna certainly he was properly initiated because he realized the supreme personality of godhead but he was cursed then he became elephant so there are examples like that where they did become animals after being initiated by a proper spiritual master so very unfortunate but again it was fortunate also because eventually, very quickly, they came out of that as well. Hmm. It is said that even if one is a devotee and he falls down in a place like Vrindavan, Mathura, he may become a monkey or a dog or a pig in the Vrindavan and then after that he goes back to Godhead. So he may go to animal species, but again, even though they may go to animal species, their deliverance is very, very quick after that. You see, King Bharat, he went into a deer, an ordinary deer. How many lives he has to take before he comes to human species? Many, many lives. But he, next life, human life, and next life, back to God. That's it. Finish. So, although they may go back, but they don't fall back as bad as the non devotees. Hmm. Because Svalpamukpesa Dharma se Trayade Mahato Bhayat. So, that promise is always there. Name Bhakta Pranashati. So temporarily it may seem like a setback, but he is never completely gone. 
न वैजनो जातु कथंचना व्रजेन मुकुंद सेव्यन्य वदंग संस्रतिम् स्मरन मुकुंदां घ्रिपगूहनं पुनर विहातु मिच्छेन नर सग्र हो जनह 1519 Srimad Bhagavatam My dear Vyasa, even though a devotee of Lord Krishna sometimes falls down somehow or other, he certainly does not undergo material existence like others, fruitive workers, etc. Uh, because a person who has once relished the taste of the lotus feet of the Lord can do nothing but remember the ecstasy again and again. So, But uh, intelligence means one, why should I again do all these things? I should go back to the Godhead in this life. Anandai no. Mataji, what is the meaning of Tattva Masi? Tattva Masi, two things Prabhupada translated is as Tattva Masi, if you say to the Lord, Tattva Masi, you are that same Supreme Brahman, then that is devotional service. Another meaning is that Tattva Masi, you are that, you are that actually, you are that. Tattva Masi means you are that. So what is that? Very ambiguous, right? Vedic, Vedic statements are all like that, ambiguous. Very confidential. Hmm. So only um, Mahajana Yenagata Sapantha, only a Mahajan, Mahatma, he knows the real import of those words. And the Mahajans are, you know, devotees, great devotees. So, actually some, <coughs> somebody shared that verse where Krishna says, confidential, they, he likes the confidential descriptions of the Vedas and those who chant and pray to the Lord with such confidential prayers. There is one verse like that. I think um, something, I think 714 somewhere, I guess, I don't know. So, we do nothing but remember the ecstasy again, again. So, that's the point. So, yeah, Tattva Masi, Tattva Masi actually. So, you are that means we are one in spiritual quality with the Lord. Uh, so, we are same in spiritual quality. That's the meaning. So you do not belong here in this material world. You are spirit. Aham Brahmasmi. And Tattva Masi is the same thing. So I should be in the spiritual world. I am in the wrong place. So I shouldn't be trying for enjoyment here in this material world. So this is, these are all meanings that come out of Tattva Masi. Rajeshwari Mahasaya Prabhu, so many. Are they all in Kimpurusha Varsha along with Hanuman worshipping Lord Ram? Yeah, I mean, the ones who participated in the war against Ravan, they all went back to Godhead because they were fighting for Ram. Um, but yeah, all these I mean, inhabitants are in the... You know, in Hollywood, there is this movie, Planet of the Apes. So in the Kim Purusha planet, it is like that, Planet of the Apes. There are Planet of the Snakes as well, <laughs> Nagaloka. There are different planets like that. The Hollywood movies, they are not getting any new ideas. No, no, no. It's just a regurgitation of whatever is already there in our Vedas. They cannot invent something outside of the Vedas. No. They just do it in a bit deformity way and then like that. That's all. But the original ideas are all there in the Vedas. Two decillion is 10 to the power of 66. Well, that is the, that is the number of Vandras. Divya Mataji, Prabhuji, false ego is subtler than intelligence and how we can identify and control it by our intelligence? We can't. So the only way we can is that higher than false ego is the soul. And when the soul receives knowledge from the spiritual platform of Krishna, because Krishna, he gives spiritual knowledge, which is higher than even false ego. Such knowledge will remove the avidya. The avidya, the ignorance, is causing the false ego. Why we identify wrongly? Because of ignorance. So when that avidya is removed by vidya from Krishna, then that spiritual knowledge will enable us to come to our true ego, our true identity. And in that true ego, the intelligence will be strengthened by that vidya. And with that strengthened spiritual intelligence, one can subdue the mind, which is otherwise unconquerable. And when the mind is thus controlled, then the senses are controlled, 
and when the senses are controlled one's existence is controlled and everything can be engaged in the service of krishna so that's how it happens that attachment to krishna develop when we become first class devotee only till then we feel shadow attachment because of the selfish desires it's not shadow attachment but the attachment is not complete so when one becomes first class devotee he is completely attached to krishna when one is not first class devotee he has some attraction for krishna but it's very feeble so that's the difference so it increases gradually it's not just like your bat- battery charging you know from 0% to 100% it's not that now it is 0 and suddenly it's 100 it increases right so similarly uh, the phone battery you see the charging percentages so similarly our devotion the attachment to krishna we we are having at least some attachment that's why we are agreeing to chant even though we don't have that much taste or what we are agreeing to chant because we have some taste we have some taste for this way of life you know which we are not able to give up so that is uh, attachment definitely certainly but it's very feeble at this point very less so eventually it will increase and increase and increase shraddha ratir bhakti anukramishyati how by associating with devotees and hearing bhavante hritkarna rasayana katha this so krishna katha is important otherwise these will not improve Shraddha, Rati, and Bhakti will not improve. So now it is not shadow, but it is just like it is partial. Hmm. Suchandra Prabhu, Prabhu, he, here the many spiritual masters can also mean Shiksha Gurus as we can have many Shiksha Gurus. Yes, and those Shiksha Gurus, what are they? Who are they? Who repeat the message of Diksha Guru? and why these ordinary objects are also shiksha guru because they are also repeating the message of the diksha guru by echoing so they are not particularly in instructing but because a person who is very attached to the knowledge given by the spiritual master he will see that knowledge being reflected wherever he sees the knowledge is reflected and comes back to him and to instruct him hmm. and the feedback loop is always virtuous and what i mean is a positive feedback loop that means when he sees it is the knowledge that he already has heard before when he when he sees that then it reminds him and then it sometimes has newer understanding he will get a newer nuance understanding of that thing or some you know something more he will always understand something more and more so how can something which is in his own mind and went there to the tree and then reflected or tree or whatever it is and then come back to him in a augmented you know when you drop a ball a bouncing ball from a height of 1 meter when it hits the ground when it comes back up it goes it doesn't go all the way to 1 meter it goes to maybe 70 uh, 0.7 meters and then it again bounces and goes to maybe 0.5 and then 0.3 2 1 and it becomes almost it is in, it comes to nil zero it doesn't bounce anymore so when it comes from the 100 and then it becomes 80 and then it reduces but here it bounces off the material objects and comes back with renewed with something extra information how is that happening it is if you drop from 1 meter it will bounce to 1 2 meters no it does doesn't happen right usually but in spiritual knowledge that happens hmm so that is the special thing about spiritual knowledge so the more we hear the more deeper we our understanding gets it's not that you know it it wanes it actually increases anandam buddhi vardhanam gyana also vardhanam it increases vidya vadhu jivanam so these are all increases so it's a very special so shiksha gurus can be as persons as uh, inanimate objects or as you know like living entities who are like you know like trees or something like that insects who are actually very much in ignorance but again the knowledge of the spiritual initiating spiritual master bounces off these 
and then when he sees wow this is what is said you know then he learns a lesson even more graphically when he sees that so in that way hmm even after initiation why devotee is stuck in materialistic consciousness 439 shraddha vaal labhate gyanam tatpara samyatendriya that is the answer to remain not stuck in the material consciousness we have to have shraddha we have to have faith that means we have to associate with devotees who are full of faith um and who instill faith in others and then uh tatpara we have to be very attached to the knowledge and conduct ourselves on the basis of that knowledge always checking with shastra ke checking with the guru checking with the devotees guru sadha shastra and um samyatendriya controlling our senses doing the i mean following the rules and regulations established by the spiritual master as much as i can hmm as much as much as i can means ah oh, i can only do this much this much no 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 as most as i can you know so i should always improve myself how can i follow this even better even better even better like that so if i don't do these things if i take it slack if i slacken then you know there are few verses to actually signify this Eleven sixteen forty three. Yo vai van manasi samya asamya chandhiya yati hi tasya vratam tapodanam sravatya amagatam bovat. A transcendentalist who does not completely control his words and mind. Samya tendriya hai, you know that verse four thirty nine. Who does not completely control his mind and, and words by superior intelligence. Superior intelligence. Well, how you will get superior intelligence? Just now we have seen. Krishna gives the knowledge and that strengthens the intelligence. and that's how it becomes superior intelligence so we have to be tatpar we have to be attached to the knowledge with faith so if we do not completely control our words and mind by superior intelligence the such a transcendentalist will find that his spiritual vows austerities and charity flow away just as water flows out of an unbaked clay pot a clay pot which is not baked it cannot contain water it will leak so we have to bake our clay pot So just by re- looking at a pot, we can understand this verse. We can remember this verse, and we can understand. Oh, I have to be like a baked clay pot. I cannot be like unbaked. So many. You know, this is also an analogy verse. You see, uh, there are different types of verses I have seen. So this is an analogy verse. From a common analogy, a very elevated topic is being described. So this is the thing. If we don't do these things, sraddha, tatparaha, attachment to it, and samyata indriya if you don't do then we cannot become a good disciple and cannot advance so um there are other verses which uh, show this okay we'll actually go to the previous verse 1154 then we'll come to 1155 दूरे हरिकथा केचि दूरे चाच्युत कीर्तना स्त्रीय शूद्रादयश्चैव तेनु कंप्या भवादृशम वेरी वेरी नाइस वर्स एक्चुअली यू सी दिस देयर आर मेनी पर्संस हु हैव लिटिल ऑपर्चुनिटी टू टेक पार्ट इन डिस्कशंस अबाउट द सुप्रीम पर्सनालिटी ऑफ गॉड हेड हरि एंड दैट इज इट इज डिफिकल्ट फॉर देम टू चांट हिज इनफैलिबल ग्लोरीज पर्संस सच एज वुमेन शूद्रस एंड अदर फॉलोइंग क्लासेस ऑलवेज डिजर्व द मर्सी ऑफ ग्रेट पर्सनालिटीज लाइक योरसेल्फ so women sudras and other fallen classes they have very little opportunity to take part in discussions about hari uh ah. okay before we go to the next verse i'll show you this one but if they here so so says so therefore they deserve mercy so our movement is full of mercy we allow everybody to hear because when one hears this is what happens 
अन्येजानत श्रुवान्ेभ्य उपासते ते चातितरव मृत्यु श्रुतिपरायण Again, there are those who, although not conversant in spiritual knowledge, begin to worship the supreme person upon hearing about him from others. Because of their tendency to hear from authorities, they also transcend the path of birth and death. So these are the, are the not so intelligent class of people. So now, going back to that, this verse. Why I showed you this verse? Because next verse is actually the answer. Okay, you can read. You can actually read this. Uh, purport if you want. You know, there is nice uh, explanation of uh, Acharya commentary. Mm. Although it is not Prabhupada's purport. Now, eleven five five. So that means those who are dura, those who are far away from you know, those who have very little opportunity to hear, they can also advance by receiving the mercy of the great devotees. And there are many examples of such. There is also the the examples are also listed in the Bhagavatam. Um, what are the examples? Let's go. I think it's eleven, twelve, three. Is it? Yes. Eleven, twelve, three through six. So I'm not going to go into the Sanskrit now. You see, all these are those who took the advantage of association of devotees. and none of them are actually from high grade families or backgrounds in every yuga translation in every yuga many living entities entangled in the modes of passion and ignorance gain the association of my devotees thus such living entities as the daityas rakshasas birds beasts gandharvas apsaras nagas siddhas charanas gohyakas vidyadharas as well as such lower class human beings as the vaishyas sudras women and others were able to achieve my supreme abode achieved his abode vritrasura Prahlad Maharaj and others like them, they are actually from demonic families. Also achieve my abode by associating association with my devotees, as did personalities such as Vrishaparva, Bali Maharaj, Banasura, Maya, Vibhishan, Sugriva, Hanuman. Why is Hanuman considered a lowborn? Because monkey. Huh. Sugriva also, Vibhishan, Asura family. Huh. Banasura, Maya, all from the Asura family. Bali Maharaj also. All those are great devotees. they came out from different backgrounds jambavan gajendra jatayu from gajendra elephant jatayu bird vulture that too vulture is not considered a high grade bird because it's eating meat you know tuladhar dharma vyadha was a butcher kubja gopis in vrindavan and the wives of the brahmanas who were performing sacrifices they were also women so um of course we have uh, Two seven forty six and two four eighteen also highlighting the same thing, and of course Bhagavad Gita nine thirty two also the same point. Now when we go back eleven five five. Vipro Rajanya Vaishyaova Hare Prapta Padantikam Shrauti Na Janmanatha Pe Mohyan Tamna Ayavadina. On the other hand, so on one hand we have low born people who can achieve the highest perfection. by association with saintly people on the other hand brahmanas that means who are already initiated eh? and members of the royal order that means kshatriyas and vaishyas even after being allowed to approach the lotus feet of the supreme lord hari by receiving the second birth of vedic initiation can become bewildered and adopt various materialistic philosophies why they can how come they can Purport. It is little. It is said that a little knowledge can be very dangerous. Those who are falsely proud of material, social status, and who thus neglect the per, uh, neglect to perfect their worship of the personality of Godhead are condemned in this world. So we have to perfect our worship. This is not Prabhupada's purport, by the way. Disclaimer. Muhyant amna ya vadina ha. Becoming attracted by the sense gratification of high status within the varnashram social system, such persons become more attracted to the illusory material philosophy than to the absolute truth, which is not material. we will find actually bhakti siddhanta's um, little bit commentary there huh? so within the vedic system brahmana kshatriya and vaishyas as mentioned in this verse are all offered initiation into the gayatri mantra and are considered twice born or highly civilized men by studying vedic literature chanting vedic mantras by executing ritualistic ceremonies and worshiping the spiritual master and the personality of godhead such persons gradually come near to the lotus feet of the supreme lord and because they come near to the lotus feet of the supreme lord this is called upanayana upanaya means to come near 
if one in uh, such if one in such an exalted position becomes proud of his status or fascinated by the heavenly material enjoyment that is undoubtedly available to the followers of the varnashram system it can be heavenly in the next life but even in this life if i want heavenly pleasures you know by becoming a guru and then i want all kinds of royal opulence from my disciples yeah in the form of sex and money and everything like some gurus have fallen in our iskon huh so that is also if they are fascinated by the, all that by the by the worship by the adoration by the opulence and everything that is not really available to the followers of the varnashram system then one is so bewildered and one so bewildered returns to the illusory material platform of birth and death even the highly posted demigods become victims of maya's enticement as described in the first verse of shrimad bhagavatam mohyanti yat surayah mohyanti yat surayah so it's a good form, good point surya means demigods and also devotees also so mohyanti yat surayah Uh, devotees are bewildered in different ways like yashoda um, madhu yashoda was bewildered thinking that krishna is my son and when she saw the universe in krishna's mouth she was bewildered again after that after she was bewildered and krishna counteracted that bewilderment by again another bewilderment like oh krishna is my son again so that is another one bewilderment mohyanti yat surya and the demigods are bewildered because they are going to enjoyment and they are you know they forget the lord and they are also not clear about the lord like brahma doubted indra doubted uh, varuna doubted Ra- lord ram the uh, sagar sorry sagar the personality of the ocean he did not come in the beginning when ram became angry or then he came so they sometimes become uh, doubtful muhyanti yat surya and he, um, so devotees can be this thing and uh, demigods can be uh, you know illusioned and those who are who have come to devotional service they may also fall back like this was and in this context now it is um, mentioned muhyanti yat surayah so so many applications are there for this one line you see so muhyanti yat surayah uh, they can go back devotees can go back you know if they are not careful about taking the whole process seriously with shraddha tatparah and samyata indriya if they let go of these things then they may be again adopting materialistic philosophies and this happens with the disobedience of this order of the spiritual master hmm. so in order to justify sorry in order to justify their illusory desire to enjoy dead matter such foolish persons condemn themselves by minimizing the necessity of worshiping the personality of godhead avajananti and falsely try to give equal importance to the karmakanda section of the vedas which awards heavenly sense gratification in exchange for the performance of prescribed ritualistic ceremonies so okay these are um, this thing shri prabhupada's purport to this verse of bhagavad gita gives a clear picture of the offensive class of men described therein people in general are not very intelligent and due to their ignorance they are most attached to the fruitive activities recommended in the karmakanda portion of the vedas they do not want anything more than sense gratificatory proposals for enjoying life in heaven where wine and women are available and material opulence is very common so that is all, that is that but at the end i want to say something i will show this bhakti sadhan saraswati thakur says important point ah see here the significant point in this verse is that such bewildered materialists have, who have become attracted to the materialistic portions of the vedas mohyanti amnaya mohyanti amnaya vadinah vedavadarata partha same amnaya means vedas desire to ignore the supreme proprietorship of the, of the personality of godhead who is the bhoktaram yagata prasam sarvam and at the end uh, sorry at the same time they wish to preserve their exalted status as followers of the vedic principles ye ya esham purusham sakshat atma prabhavam ishwaram na bhajanti avajananti sthanat bhrashta hapatanti adha those who don't worship personality of god the supreme personality of godhead bhagwan um, they will fall from their established positions in the varnashram system so they don't want to worship the lord and they equate the karmakanda section as the same as you know uh, bhakti so that is an offense so they want to preserve their exalted status and at the same time they don't follow the real principle of vedas 
namesake followers in other words such duplicitous persons take shelter of materialistic philosophers such as jaimini who deny the existence of god as a tangible principle ishvara ishvara siddhe and therefore recommend material fruitive activities as the highest noble truth such so called vedic philosophers amount to little more than polished atheists and are therefore understood to be anishvara vadina ha or those who preach against the supremacy of the supreme personality of godhead although foolish materialistic followers of the varnashram system desire to maintain their exalted status as aryans or twice born men and the same and at the same time neglect the personality of godhead it is clearly stated in bhagavatam ah, this is the verse i just quoted sthanat bhrashta patanjya dha such persons inevitably fall from their position into a degraded condition of life as confirmed in this verse by the word mohyanti they fall into the darkness of ignorance sometimes such pompous persons even present themselves as gurus however bhakti siddhanta saraswati thakur has pointed out that they are actually laghu or flimsy rather than guru or heavy with vedic knowledge guru means heavy with vedic knowledge uh, in opposite is laghu flimsy they are actually laghu not guru it is one's ultimate duty to oneself swarthagati and to that and to the supreme personality of godhead to give up all materialistic activities characterized by karma and gyan and surrender fully at the lotus feet of the lord only the most unfortunate person will consider that there is a higher pleasure than higher pleasure than ecstatic surrender at the lotus feet of gokulananda the personality of godhead so you see people can fall back another verse i'll show you regarding falling back लब्धानुग्रह आचार्या तेन संदर्शितागम महापुरुषमभ्यर्चेन् मूर्तियामतयात्म हैविंग ऑप्टेन द मर्सी ऑफ हि स्पिरिचुअल मास्टर हू रिवील्स टू द डिसाइपल द इंजंक्शन्स ऑफ द वेदिक स्क्रिप्चर्स द डिवोटी शुड वर्शिप द सुप्रीम पर्सनालिटी ऑफ गॉड हेड इन द पर्टिक्युलर पर्सनल फॉर्म ऑफ द लॉर्ड द डिवोटी फाइंड्स मोस्ट अट्रैक्टिव ओके नाउ This is the verse. Bodha kalushita stena dauratmyam prakati kritam guru guru yena parityaktas tena tyakta pura hari him. This is the thing. This is why he will fall back again. One pollutes his own intelligence and exhibits severe weakness of character when he rejects his own spiritual master. Indeed, such a person has already rejected the supreme lord Hari. Very important verse. so these are the reasons why we can fall back when we when we you know rejects on uh, reject the spiritual master name se kai mein aise yes yes no no i am not rejecting i am also prabhupad 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 but i don't even follow the instructions of prabhupad what kind of prabhupad is that in iskon they are all saying oh we are also following prabhupad prabhupad is a preeminent shiksha guru what is a preeminent shiksha guru he is a diksha guru that's it huh divya gyan kshapayati this is the meaning of diksha दिव्यम ज्ञानम यथो दध्यात कुरिया पाप संक्षय तथा दीक्षा दीक्षय सा प्रोक्त तत्वकोविद देशिक तत्वकोविद जीवगोस्वामी सैड इन द भक्ति सन्दर्भ इन द षट सन्दर्भ दैट दीक्षा मीन्स दिव्य दिव्यम ज्ञानम यथो दध्यात हुएवर गिव्स द ट्रांसेंडेंटल नॉलेज हू इज गिविंग एज गिविंग नेम इज वन थिंग ट्रांसेंडेंटल नॉलेज हू इज गिविंग दैट इज दीक्षा ही इज दीक्षा गुरु Prabhupada is giving. That's it. Hmm. So, so these are the things. So, how one should be with Guru? That is explained in this verse. How one should conduct oneself so that one does not fall. सेवेन सेवेन थर्टी एंड थर्टी वन गुरु शुश्रूषया भक्त सर्वलब्धाणे च संगेन साधु भक्ताधन च्रद्धया तत्कथायां चीर्तनैर्गुणकर्मण तत्दाबुरहध्यालिंगेक्षारहणादि वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वर्ड्स फॉर ऑल डिवोटीज एंड पर्पोर्ट ऑल्सो एज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वर्ड्स बै रूप गोस्वामी one must accept the bona fide spiritual master and render service unto him with great devotion and faith whatever one has whatever one has in one's possession should be offered to the spiritual master sarvalabdha arpanena cha sarvalabdha arpanena cha whatever one has in one's possession should be offered to the spiritual master 
and in the association of saintly persons and devotees one should worship the lord hear the glories of the lord tat kathayam cha shraddhaya tat kathayam cha with faith hear the glories of the lord with faith same thing shraddhavan labhate gyanam tat paraha samyatendriya again and again these are reiterated everywhere in different words shraddhaya tat kathayam cha kirtanair guna karmanam glorify the transcendental qualities and activities of the lord always what is that meditate on the lord's lotus feet and worship the deity of the lord strictly according to the injunctions of the shastra and guru if we do these things then we will not fall so here bhakti rasamrita sindhu rupa goswami is saying 1.2.74 and 75 guru padashraya stasmat krishna diksha dishikshanam vishrambhena guru ho seva sadhu vartmanu vartanam सद्धर्म प्रच्छा सद्धर्म प्रच्छा भोगादि त्याग कृष्ण से हेतवे वन फर्स्ट ड्यूटी इज टू एक्सेप्ट बॉन फॉर स्पिरिचुअल मास्टर ओके ही इज एक्सप्लेनिंग वन बाय वन वन बाय वन सो आई जस्ट गिव सिनॉप्सिस सो गुरु पादाश्रयास तस्मा ही हैज टेक शेल्टर ऑफ द गुरु कृष्ण दीक्षा दि शिक्षण ही हैज टेक दीक्षा फ्रॉम द गुरु and krishna diksha that means he has to get a name krishna das or something govind das like this and he has to receive krishna knowledge the vigyan and shikshanam so that is that is a knowledge shikshan vishrambhena guru ho seva vishrambhena means with great attention and faith and with full reverence for the guru guru ho seva he has to do guru seva sadhu vartma anuvartanam sadhu vartma vartma means the path vartma means the path sadhu vartma means the the path laid down by the spiritual master which the sadhus Uh, tread uh, anuvartanam he has to follow that path laid down by the spiritual master sadharma pricha aro adav guruvashrayam sadharma pricha hmm. vedanta sutra also says sadharma pricha means he has to inquire about sadharma about the real dharma of the living entity uh, sadharma pricha bhogadi tyagah krishnasya hetave one has to accept and uh, reject things uh, for the sake of krishna whatever is favorable for krishna consciousness accept whatever is unfavorable reject unfavorable for krishna consciousness one's development of krishna consciousness so in this way one has to conduct oneself and what are the things that are acceptable not acceptable not this those rules are there nectar of instruction you can read yeah? and all bhagavad gita you just read prabhupada's books you will understand all the things Of course, the chief ones are the chanting Krishna's name, Hare Krishna, sixteen rounds, following the four regular principles, morning program, Krishna Prasadam, association of devotees, hearing Sri Mad Bhagavatam, I mean, um, reading Prabhupada's books, engaging in preaching. In this way, engaging in Krishna's service, basically, twenty-four hours a day. That's just that's the whole program. All right, so that's a long answer there. Let's see if we have more. Yes, he is sitting in our heart and witnessing all our nonsense and millions of bodies. Yes. First of all, offer yes. This is one um, thirty-five. So Sundar Prabhu is quoting Adi one thirty-five, initiating spiritual master and all my instructing spiritual masters. Yes. So, yeah, I think that question was asked by Divya Mataji or something. Tattvamasi means soul and supreme soul same. Well, I have already explained the meaning. So, is Maya Vadi? Sorry, Maya Devi. Virendra Virendra is finally here. Is Maya Devi stopping a jiva to surrender to Krishna in material world? No. She is stopping the pseudo person who thinks he has surrendered but not surrendered. She is keeping him here until he fully surrenders. Ji- Maya cannot stop a jiva who has surrendered to Krishna. but um, she will expose our pseudo surrender so when we have not surrendered completely she will put in you know thing to strengthen our surrender and uh, she will also try to throw away but that's to test our determination it's like reverse psychology krishna is encouraging us please come back to me plan come back to me maya is saying i dare you you try you try going back to krishna let me see whether you can go back or not so the devotee if he 
you try to you no know, i will go i will go the determination she wants him to become determined hmm so sometimes he may fall she will allure him oh you think you are great but okay let me show you something okay fall down again so from that fall down he will again rise up eventually krishna's mercy will be there and he will rise up again he will learn his lessons like bilumangal thakur he fall, fell down for prostitute and then after she showed him the path he went to vrindavan and on the path again he fell down to another beautiful wife of a brahmana so and this time he just pierced his eyes and made himself blind so his determination was only increased by such abominable um, allurement from maya and when he got actually allured he was so repenting that um, he condemned himself and that strengthened his renunciation even more he decided not to have eyes anymore i mean just see so she is uh, doing reverse psychology and uh, uh, krishna is doing forward psychology so he is doing in both ways they are trying to <laughs> get us to krishna actually because she is vaishnavi devi you know she will punish those rascals who have not surrendered to krishna that's what she will do I mean, when you're going to Krishna, she will make sure you're completely pure you can, before you can enter to the spiritual world. If you're going to be contaminated and uh, allowed, you, I mean, uh, uh, what expect to be allowed in the spiritual world? Forget it. She will not be allowed. Prithirna yavan mai vasudeva namuchyate namuchyate deha yoga na tavat. No way you're going out. Not even a single chance. You're going to stay with me. Maya is saying, until you have prithi of vasudeva, I'm not going to leave you, rascal. That's Maya. <laughs> Rajeshwari Mahathir Ji, Prabhuji, this question is related to my previous question. When did all the Vanaras had an opportunity to go back to Godhead? Why didn't they honor it? Honor it like all the Ayodhya Vasis? Why did they choose to remain in this material world along with Hanuman Ji? No. There are other Kimpurushas in the Hanuman, I mean in the whole uh, Kimpurusha Loka, it's not the same Vanaras. Hanuman may be the same because it's Chiranjeevi, he lives for a long time in the material world to purify others, that too, with his presence. But uh, the Vanaras are all, you know, they're replaced, they're replaced by other Vanaras. There are so many Vanaras, not the same Vanaras, other Vanaras. Even if they were same, so what, they are associating with Hanuman and worshipping the Lord, so... You know. See, Krishna, when he arranges, when the demigods and other beings come to assist him in his pastimes, when the pastimes finish, the demigods go back to the respective demigods' places. That is also there. They don't go back to Godhead. Like Abhimanyu, he died in the battlefield of Kurukshetra, was Krishna, where Krishna was there. But he went to Chandralok because he was the son of Chandra. So, they go back to their respective uh, places. So, either they have, if they gone back to that, they must have gone back because of this, or they are replaced by new Vanaras. Next generation, next generation, like that. Prabhuji, can you please recite this verse for once? Wanted to know the exact meter and tune of it. Savai Manah Krishna Padaravinda Yor. Yeah, this is... Uh, Eleven syllables. Savai mana krishna padara vindayor Vacham sivai kuntha gunanu varnane Karau harer mandira marjana adishu Shrutim chakara chuta satkatho daye That, that tune. Mukunda lingala yadarshane drishau tad bhritya gatras parashenga sangamam Ghranam chatat padu saroja saurabhe Shrimat tulasya rasanam tadarpite Pado Hare Kshetra Padanu Sarpane Shiro Hishi Kesha Padabhi Vandane Kamam Chadasya Natu Kama Kamyaya Yathottama Shloka Janashraya Rati um, other, other meters also, I mean other tunes also can be sung like Damodarashtaka Savai Mana Krishna Padara Vindayor Vacham Sivai Kuntha Gunanu Varnane Karau harer mandir marjana dishu Shrutim chakara chuta satkatho daye Mukunda lingalaya darshane drishau tad bhritya gatras parshanga sangamam 
ઘ્રાણમ ચ તત્પાદ સરોજ સૌરભે શ્રીમતુલસ્યા રસનમ તદર્પિતે પાદો હરે ક્ષેત્ર પદાનુસર્પણે શિરો ઋષિકેશ પદાભિવંદને કામમ ચ દાસ્ય ન તો કામ કામ્યયા યથોત્તમ શ્લોક જનાશ્રયારતિ સવૈ મન કૃષ્ણ પદારવિંદોર્વચાંસી વૈકુંઠ ગુણાનુવર્ણને કરો હરેર્મંદિરમાર્જનાદિષુ શ્રુતિ ચકારાચ્યુત સત્કોદયે મુકુંદલિંગાલય દર્શને દૃશો તદ્ભૃત્યગાત્ર સ્પર્શેંગ સંગમમ ઘ્રાણમ ચ તત્પાદ સરોજ સૌરભે શ્રીમતુલસ્યારસનામ તદર્પિતે પાદો હરે ક્ષેત્ર પદાનુસર્પણે શિરો હૃષિકેશ પદાભિવંદને કામમ ચ દાસ્ય ન તો કામ કામ્યયા યથોત્તમ શ્લોક જનાશ્રયારતિ મેટીરિયલિસ્ટિકોન્શિયસ દિવ્ય માતાજી થેન્ક યુ સો મચ ફોર યોર ટ્રાન્સનલ મેસેજ ઓફ કૃષ્ણ પ્રભુજી વીર ઓલ ઇન્ડેટેડ ટુ યુ વિથ એવરી લેક્ચર આઈ ફીલ એશેમ ટુ ફાવર સેલ્ફ કૃષ્ણ ટુ વેઇટ હિયર આઈ હેવ અ ક્વેશ્ચન ફોર ફોર કૃષ્ણ ઇટ ઇઝ લાઈક ઓનલી પ્રેઝન્ટ ઇવન બ્રહ્માઝ લાઈફ સ્પેન ઇઝ જસ્ટ લાઈક અ સ્પાર્ક આઈ એમ જસ્ટ ક્યુરિયસ ટુ નો અબાઉટ કૃષ્ણઝ વેઇટિંગ ટાઈમ એઝ ઇટ્સ જસ્ટ અ ફ્રેક્શન ઓફ સેકન્ડ ફોર હિમ એન્ડ ફોર સ્ટોન્સ ઓર સ્ટોન હાર્ટેડ પીપલ ઇન વન લાઈફ ટાઈમ who has no access to devotees how krishna is giving his hand and wait for them when they want to completely forget forget krishna well he is trying to make contact of them with devotees somehow or other even if he is a dog maybe the devotees will pass by singing kirtan and he will hear so he is trying to arrange in every way possible sometimes you know we are just so you know uh, far away from him and sometimes it is absolutely far away from any devotee anywhere so that's just because we wanted it like that but he is still thinking or makes them think you know in whatever little way about spiritual life and uh, how long is the waiting time fraction of a second now just as a uh, chaitanya mahaprabhu said with krishna i mean for krishna ન શિક્ષાષ્ટક યુગાયતમ નિમેષેન ચક્ષુષા પ્રાવૃષાયતમ શૂન્યાયતમ જગત સર્વમ ગોવિંદ વિરહેન મે સો શૂન્યાયતમ વોટ ઇઝ વન મુમેન્ટ ઇઝ લાઈક ટ્વેલ્વ યર્સ સો ઇવન ઇફ ઇટ ઇઝ અ ફ્રેક્શન ઓફ અ સેકન્ડ ફોર હિમ ઇટ ઇઝ સો લોંગ બિકોઝ ઓફ હિઝ લવ ફોર અસ યુ નો Yeah, it is nothing for him. I mean, on one side we can think, ah, what is half a half second, you know, waiting only work for Krishna. Yeah, I will come back, Krishna, don't worry. No, no, no. <laughs> half a minute for him, you know, he, he, he's pain. He's, yes, he's always happy. That's one side of him. But there's the other side, which is, he loves us so much that he's also pained by, by our condition. So... that pain is more than what we can imagine what we can even conceive of we cannot have such love for krishna who is all attractive but we are not at all attractive but still krishna has so much love for us we don't have anywhere remotely close love for krishna when he is all attractive there is every reason to love krishna but krishna had every reason to not to love us hate us for all that we have done and we are not attractive to him why why is he attracted to us he needs something from us nothing but still he is that shows the amount of love he has for each one of us we can't even imagine his love actually his mercy if we are getting materialistic consciousness having shiksha guru is also our karma 
what if we are getting materialistic consciousness having sikshu guru is also our karma i don't understand the question actually the grammar is off i can't understand oh okay if we are getting sikshu guru who has materialistic consciousness is it also a result of our bad karma well probably i heard there is something called guru chandal yoga <laughs> which means that in a previous life i have offended guru or i have become guru and falsely and offended the sacred relationship between guru and disciple and in this life i will not get a similar i will not get a healthy relationship with my guru or i may become similarly a bogus guru and I have a unhealthy relationship with my disciple or whatever like that. well all of that is all that aside i mean that is part of astrology guru chandal yoga or something like that but apart from that i mean if one is sincere even though he may like i will give an example like prabhu sunagopal prabhu he used to always tell his story when he first became a devotee then he used to you know he was trying to run the temple here and the gbc in this area was uh, um what is his name hari harikesh no not harikesh what is his name who fell down everybody fell down but are <laughs> how did i forget his name like that can somebody help me um what is his name who is a good singer you know he kirtani he um, i mean he became a so called i mean advocate of rithvik system who is that wow how did i forget like that so anyway so he had this gbc was not um he was completely fallen fellow hamsadutta yeah so forgot so hamsadutta so hamsadutta Swami, he was the GBC, and Prabhu was very like depressed under his uh, governance, and he wa- he was fighting with him all the time, and then at one point he just left everything. So he wanted to go away from his con and go away from Hari Krishna and everything. But he liked Prabhu Pad and his books, of course, the knowledge. But he did not like the devotees who were like misrepresenting him and all that. since those days he never had any liking for these gurus but he thought that was the only system prabhupad left so even Pra- Pra- so prabhu was of the opinion that if prabhupad left the initiation system to dogs that means if he authorized if prabhupad authorized a dog to become uh, next spiritual master i would take initiation from the dog prabhu said that was my this thing so if prabhupad did ask them to take, i mean become next guru so i guess i have to accept it because prabhupad said it but i was just so prabhu was always thinking why it is like this you know until he found out the real thing then he immediately came out now so in the beginning he did not have proper sikshu gurus and then after that he was under tamal krishna of all people who engineered the whole poisoning of prabhupad and very very obnoxious character and um, he was following strictly some rules and regulations but offensive to prabhupad he said he said to prabhu in dallas um he said you have to get reinitiated by me have you thought about it then he said um prabhu said see i have only place for prabhupad in my heart he said i don't have place for others i have limited space in my heart <laughs> he said like that so actually he did not say limited space that actually tamal krishna said i have only place for prabhupad in my heart that's what prabhu said then tamal krishna said your heart is so small that you only you only have place for prabhupa you know shouted at him every all prabhupa position disciples must be reinitiated you know he was he said that he said that to prabhu that was his character and all this what kind of association is that but he learned and learned and learned how not to be a uh, stupid devotee so that is also a lesson so that's that's i mean ultimately now we see we, he has uh, so sincere 
and so strict so now we are benefiting from such determination and such non alliance with cheaters so is it our karma well if we are sincere in krishna consciousness in prabhupad krishna will guide us prabhupad will guide us no matter what our situation is now i personally am fortunate to be in the association of a bona fide devotee like sundar gopal prabhu but so i did not have much experience under devotees who have who are not proper i don't have any experience actually so consider myself fortunate for that but if somebody is like that then we will just pray so prabhu the way prabhu pad taught us is if we see somebody senior to us who is not following instead of making it a big this thing we just have to follow we fo- we ourselves have to follow and um we have to pray to krishna to give him intelligence or her intelligence so that they also become good devotees of krishna and strictly following everything so that's how we should approach a situation where in the senior devotee is in the wrong it's not to you know fight or you know to to create enmity the way vaishnava dealing is if somebody is senior is wrong of course he shouldn't be by right but if he is then we have to we, it's not an excuse for us to be wrong also oh he is wrong why i can't be wrong huh? so if somebody is not going back to godhead ah uh, he is also not going back to godhead why i should go back is there a proper argument <laughs> no so we should follow strictly as we understand proper instructions and pray to krishna to give intelligence that's all and krishna will make the moves eventually in this way that krishna knows how to do it so we have to approach it with in that way that's how prabhupada taught us hmm. from the what uh, did we miss any oh there are more uh, vrinda gupta mantra ji saying um, can you please explain this consciousness of the material body means spiritual consciousness expressed through the medium of a material body this consciousness is inferior destructible and perverted 164 purport so what is the difficulty in understanding that 164 What is that? What is the time? 11 o'clock. I have zero control over myself. I don't know when to stop and when to... 1, 6, 4. Is it purport? Okay, purport. consciousness of the material body means spiritual consciousness expressed through the medium of material this consciousness is inferior destructible and perverted but super consciousness of the supra mind on the spiritual plane is as good as the spirit soul and is never annihilated are this means that you see um like whatever we have learned in our previous life all our relations all our thing we have forgotten mm. so our consciousness we were conscious in our previous life it was not that we were unconscious in our previous life we were conscious but it is destructible so that consciousness means spiritual consciousness expressed through the medium of a material body is inferior destructible and perverted but super consciousness of the supra mind that means krishna consciousness on the spiritual platform or spiritual plane is as good as the spirit soul and is never annihilated so whatever little we do in krishna consciousness the next life we will start from there our memory is revived by the grace of krishna so that is the meaning of this whereas material consciousness will completely forget our previous life and everything 
inferior destructible and perverted and is a perverted relationship perverted everything perverted knowledge or whatever that's the meaning of that like in the context is that narad muni after he was a he was a boy and then he died i mean he became a devotee and he died and then the annihilation during the time of annihilation the entire universe was you know has gone into the uh, body of the garbhodaka shai vishnu during the night of brahma and the next day of brahma the narad muni who who was the boy in the previous life in the previous kalpa previous day of brahma he again came back and then he remembered the same he came back to his original krishna consciousness which he was having in the previous life so although there was a gap of 4 4.32 billion years he came back with the same thing and he did not forget and he could narrate it to vyasadev very clearly what happened in the previous day of brahma how many billions of years ago 4.3 billion years ago what happened he clearly remembered as a boy i what his wife i mean his, his mother was doing and the bhakti vedantas his, his association with them he could remember everything anandini mata ji next now i feel more attraction to form of jagannath more than krishna's form feels very naughty is it a shadow feel yes we are not in that level where more what is more do you mean more attraction for jagannath than krishna shay krishna shay jay gaura shay krishna shay jagannath vasudev dat is saying so if we have a feeling that jagannath and krishna are different that is bheda vision differential vision that is uh, wrong so we are um, i mean i have to be honest so we are not in the stage where we have some kind of a rasa with krishna let us uh, be honest about ourselves and understand that krishna and jagannath are same if i am feeling you know jagannath more attraction to jagannath than krishna so that's my own uh, yeah i can consider it a shadow feel yeah but it has no see the, how you will know whether it's correct or wrong so the thing is whether it is based in shastra or not shruti smriti purana adi pancharatra vidhim vina aikantik harer bhakti utpata jayeva kalpate so if our bhakti is devoid of uh, shastrik conclusion then that is a disturbance so we just have to check that whether it is in accordance with shastra or not so uh, good you ask the question so that you can know the answer kavya rasa hari krishna prabhu is a shiksha guru also called as bhagavata as prabhu please enlighten more in who is bhagavata and his position bhagavata uttama bhagavata uttama bhagavata madhyama bhagavata adhama or bhagavata kanishtha kanishtha adhikar so bhagavata uttama means the first class second class i mean first class madhyama adhikari second class the kanishtha adhikari is third class yes they are bhagavatas bhagavat means anything related to bhagavan a devotee is also bhagavan uh, krishna is bhagavan uh, book is uh, bhagavat devotee is also called bhagavat hmm. devotee is not bhagavan sorry yeah so different devotees may be in different grades of advancement so we should associate accordingly with the devotee and that is mentioned in the nectar of instruction verse 5 not going to go into that because it's already past 11 dimitri prabhu one man mantra is equal to 71 divya yugas this is equal to 30 seconds in the spiritual world i noted it from lecture from your lecture on tulsi devi oh yeah that story anyway it's yeah it's very <laughs> very very small but 30 seconds is 
quite a long time if you are i mean if it means a lot to you it will be it will it will appear like a, like when prabhu was in the operation theater for his operation that 7 hours and 8 hours was just so long that day was extremely long but at the same time it's just how we feel the dilation of perception of time depends on our emotion um, so the relativity of time is also there according to one's emotion how one feels the same time and differently i mean different way according to one's consciousness so well from jaimini sutras the ninth from karatham so joined or as expected by saturn or rahu indicates that the native offends or is disloyal to his guru and abandons the shastras also the ninth from the karakamsha joined or aspected by jupiter or the sun then one surely offends or is disloyal to his guru perhaps not sharing the opinion of the guru's words and precepts wow so is this the guru chandal yoga wow not sharing the opinion of the guru's words wow fortunately we have got our shaguru's great great devotees hari bol yes we have nice nice devotees so we should keep company with nice devotees so i think uh, and it matters that is not rasa that is why i asked something shadow feel like there was a word shadow attachment yeah so so we should consult shastra whatever feeling we have shadow feel or real feel or reflection feel or whatever check with shastra sadhu and guru which you have done so it's good So that's the end of it. Thank you all very much. So Subala Prabhu has an answer my question. Is that the the Jaimini Sutras thing is that the explanation of the Guru Chandal Yoga? I think so. If he replies, replies otherwise I'll ask him sometime else. All right, thank you all very much. Jai Shri Mad Bhagavad Gita ki jai. Jai महात्मा वृंद की जय गौर भक्त वृंद की जय शिल प्रभुपाद की जय गीता गौर प्रेमानंद ओके गुरु चंडाल नो नो गुरु चंडाल इज जस्ट गुरु विद राहु इट सीम्स देयर इज समथिंग कॉल्ड गुरु चंडाल योगा दैट्स व्हाट आई हर्ड मे बी हैव टू गूगल Radhika Mata ji thank you so much prabhu for this session always in awe and respect of your strength to preach for hours well <laughs> i am just preaching to myself that's what i'm actually doing because i'm just like you know wasting time and the rest of the hours so you might as well make some good time Okay so all right thank you all very much hare krishna